Oh, it's okay. It's session. okay. I share your sentiments entirely. It's okay. Yeah. Don't feel bad. I, I want my <laughs> twenty-five minutes of RP. You, you can fuck Cho'Gath all you want, Aries. Um, I'm on board. Carly, I'm recording right now. Just so you know. <laughs> 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 if I see any of the admissions I've made posted to YouTube, <laughs> I'm going to no. mention you in my suicide note. I just started like 30 seconds ago when he was when Josh was starting to do the ramble. Not my fault at this point. <laughs> you, you traitorous bastard. I, I'm reeling okay. it in. I'm reeling it in. I'm turning my camera off. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> You know, wow. the process of making towels is going well. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um, hello, everybody. <sighs> Welcome back to the Astral Crusade. Um, okay, mm -hmm. so. What kind of crusade is it? Or I guess. I guess. Sorry! Uh, <laughs> hey, Josh, asking for me, are there mind flares in your world? It's funny oh, we met that. one. So, we met one um, on one shot. <laughs> um, funnily, funnily enough, uh, but before we begin, um, who would like to recap? Not it. Last week? Not I'll it. do it. I can. I can actually do it all from memory. I remember everything. Okay. Holy and crap! Josh another... could. <laughs> uh, so I've never taken a note in my life, but I have like autism reptile memory, and Josh can attest because yes. I, I, <laughs> I did this. If you would like to recap, you're more than welcome to. But uh, oh, no. it just usually falls to me. Yeah, that's Carly. It's the same here. 99% of games I'm in, I'm the only other who recaps. So I'm guessing it's a Canadian thing at this point. Um, wow. Sure know, I've, all, I've always attributed it to, or attributed it to my autism. Um, because like my mom makes this joke sometimes where she's like, uh, I was like, how do you, how did you know that I was autistic? And she's like, well, I took you to the doctor one time and I forgot your Medicare card and you just brambled off your Medicare number at like five years old. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, so last session was the, hang on, the dog grabbed one of my things. So the last session was our intro session. We were meeting everybody, you know, doing that type of thing. Um, it was a whole lot of fun. You rot bastard, drop this. Sorry. Okay, my, my things are safe from dog. Um, we had, um, Atlas, who was, uh, you know, hanging out with the captain and Avante, and, you know, doing some chitty-chatting boy stuff, you know, um, we had Heath, who was, uh, or Lux, who was sleeping in a pile of grain, and we had Racilia and the halfling, whose name I don't remember, you know, doing some tinkering. We had Neon and her best boy, um, doing some music, some shows, and we started, everyone got a little bit acquainted. Uh, Racilia and Zevi had a bit of a bonding moment. Um, everyone, save, I guess, Talsh and Atlas, uh, said that they wanted to be as far away from the bar duo as possible when discussing room selections. And then we got moving, landed ourselves in space, and after arriving into space, we found ourselves face to face with some goblin raiders, would be pirates, um, an alchemist, and uh, Atlas put them all to sleep, and the final boss was the last sleeping... Um, Goblin, who is absolutely impossible to hit, most dexterous sleeping gnome or goblin ever to exist. <laughs> and if I miss anything, feel free to let me know. <laughs> All right. Well, to I be think fair, Lux did get you a stick. And, and I do now have what once was a broom, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. um, and I will use it as a de facto walking stick for the next session. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Setting up a watch together now as we speak. Um... Um, is it okay if I don't join the watch together? Just so... Yeah, it's, no, 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 it's it's perfectly fine. You're with your... I don't want your computer to catch on fire. <laughs> okay, I do, I do have a bit of a problem. Is it showing me already in the game? Uh, no, it is not. Because when I try and join the game, it it is giving me a funny error. Interesting. Okay. It's telling me another game is already in session. Oh, oh, try the try the other one. Oh, you're I'm, here. Hello. Oh, yeah, I might have clicked the wrong link. That's on me. I'm an idiot. And uh, here we are. Okay. Uh, so, um, we pick up. Uh, we're just gonna. I'm gonna move you all right here. Um, we pick up right where we left off. Um, right after the aftermath of the of these uh, goblin raiders. Um, and as uh the last of them fall um, to pieces around uh, your current party. Um, the ones that did the initial pass over, um, upon seeing that uh, your group um, you know, isn't the standard um, pushovers that they are accustomed to um, basically getting the jump on in this in these parts of space. Um, they immediately begin to zip off. Um, and uh, you see that ca the, the captain, um, Dane, kind of just like looks and watches them go. And for a minute, like his finger twitches because he's like, he's a little antsy, maybe wanting to like chase after, but then he just kind of like lets out just a soft sigh. Uh, <sighs> All right. <clears throat> Everyone accounted for back there. Did anyone die? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, but it seems like all of you lived. G good job. Seems you can handle yourselves. Just look over at Lux, who's just blood soaked from head to toe in goblin blood and guts. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, is that your. No, that is. That is too blue to be human blood. Um, hmm. Excellent. Good. Good to know. <laughs> you, you know, Lux, you are. Um more capable than I give you credit for. Oh, uh, thanks a lot there, Mum. Uh, just, uh, uh Oh, what did we say on... about that bird? Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, um, <laughs> bird, 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 is bird, bird yeah, it's, he's just, like, stumbling, yeah, yeah, uh, just, just, sorry about that, but, I just, I mean, uh, you, you learn how to defend yourself on the streets there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that, and my, yeah. my master taught me how to, like, punch someone's kidneys out of their body. <laughs> All right, let's that just is... the fire out on his shoulder. <laughs> that is terrifying. Perhaps uh, we don't punch out kidneys just yet. Um, Rachel or Bert, I could uh, perhaps just, you know, kick out their hearts. You know, fine. I, who am I to stop you? <laughs> uh, I'm also gonna turn to Avante and uh, really quickly say, y "You're not injured, are you?" Oh, to Avante. Uh, Avante just kind of like, um, actually, was he even out here with you? Uh, yeah, he no, was. Actually, Oh, he, he was. was originally? Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Avante then kind of uh, comes out from wherever he had uh, taken cover, uh, brushing like the um, uh, the dust off of his shoulders and goes, Ah, oh, yes, I am, I am perfectly fine. Thank you for the concern. <clears throat> Everyone else still good? I, I cannot, I can only see two of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Neon will step over. Uh, I'm alright, it's... Uh, I'm, I'm just fine, there's nothing going on. I'm fine. I wish I had my shots a little bit more, but... 
It's okay, I'm sure he'll get them next time. I'm just sad I missed out on all the action. <clears throat> Blimey though, Bird, and he lo uh, looks over at uh, Storm's character. With that damn stick of yours made a big firing blast there. Uh, yes, it's something I've been working on for about a year. Blimey, it was like brutal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's still got some work to do, but, um, uh, I'm figuring it out. I'm just gonna say my character will walk over to the very obvious hole in the floor when you miss the goblin at point blank, you it's shooting down. He just starts poking his finger through it. Cool! That's um, deep! <laughs> yeah, uh, Captain, we need to probably fix this. Who do I... Is this a iron hot job? Or should I fix this? I uh, man, I think maybe the both of you could probably, you know, figure that out amongst yourselves, probably. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure Ironheart's probably busy in the boiler room, though, so. If you Where want, you can fix it up if you want. Where exactly is the captain? Oh, I see. He's, Too at, the, far... he's at the forefront. Yeah. Too far away. Too far away. <laughs> I hear his voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, um, anything else, uh, from all of you? Atlas is gonna pick up the goblins and throw them off the side of the ship. <laughs> okay, uh, you do, and as you, as you do, as they leave, like, the little, um, environ sphere that is around your ship, uh, you watch as they just begin to, like, float and ragdoll into space, <laughs> just very slowly and peacefully, almost. <laughs> just freezing over. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, as they as they begin to frost. Oh, <laughs> blimey, that's neat. Oh, wait, governor, what's that? I, 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 I gotta do my job! And you just see my character dash off downstairs. <laughs> um, does that happen a lot, Captain? Oh, what, you're talking about the raiders? Um, I mean, uh, honestly, it's a little surprising that they were able to get here, um. Our little sector of space, as you'll quickly come to find out, is, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, well, let's just say it's not easy to get to, um, given with the quaint little history our planets, uh, well, offer. Right. Uh, I don't think we've ever, uh, spoken directly. Um, what was your name? Uh, she says now looking towards uh, Neon, and I'm assuming Silas is there as well? I think Silas would still be there, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Neon will extend a hand to you. Uh, I'm Neon, and it's a pleasure to meet you, as you know, I'm one of the resident gods, and this over here is Silas, my duet partner. Uh, how do you do? Uh, uh, I'm thinking. My brain is working. <laughs> um, I've been better. I think I prefer not to have goblin parts on me. I'll say at that point, that's when my character reappears with a mop bucket. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, hey, if you have that here, here, let me help, let me help. Uh, I'll cast Presentation to clean you up. And I just hey, start moving around her feet <laughs> as I get the blood <laughs> off the deck. <laughs> Gotta swap the poop duck, mum. <laughs> eh, the boy yearns for work. Just, uh, you know, just let him do his thing. He'll be fine. I'm just he... still going to clean up uh, the doll over here, though. Don't worry. Mm. Sh surely. <laughs> Surely there are uh, morality problems with putting a child to work. Oh, I won't make him work too hard. No, don't get your... Mm. Well, I don't know. What, and you know what? I'm not even going to assume what you're wearing. Whatever you're wearing. Uh, minor, minor the... illusion, the dumbest. 
<laughs> so, wait, is this the captain talking to me or Silas? Yes, it is. It's a okay. it's the captain. <clears throat> they both have a little to... bit of a southern twang. <laughs> I'm going to walk here. Mm-hmm. You know, and again, I'm not very good at stealth rolls, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Okay. That's good. That's a decent stealth score. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm mm. also not exactly whispering. I'm being a little louder. So I would say if Atlas has a particularly high um, passive, he might hear it. It's a 16. Yeah, I probably no, I say... hear it because I got a 20. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to say... I have it. You have what? Oh, she has something written down that she's looking through. Oh. Though I do like the fact is like putting the child to work is like morally questionable. Murdering several goblins, you know, that's fun. That's fine. <laughs> that's not scarring. Hello? Sorry, I cut out. No worries. I'm going to say to him. I, uh, the voices are very loud around you. Um. I hope they have nice things to say. Uh. Perhaps. And then I'm going to, I'm going to find it. Tick tock, tick tock. Running out of time. Never enough time. The man out of time. <laughs> He kind of like uh, he he pauses a bit before chuckling, but like after a moment of silence, he kind of chuckles to himself, and um, you see then that he kind of like snaps his fingers and causes a pair of mage hands to kind of man the um, the wheel before he like turns around to look at you. Well, now ain't that a fascinating little riddle you got for me there? <clears throat> if I knew well, how to interpret, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, um, if I knew how to interpret them, I'd get a lot more done, I think. Why the fuck did you not just do that when we were fighting all the goblins? Do what? No, not you. The, the hand thing on the wheel? <laughs> Look, the amount of concentration that goes into maintaining two mage hands at the same time is actually... Well, okay, well, whatever. I probably could have, is what I meant to say. <laughs> but I have to admit, he says, kind of like, as he's, like, limping with, like, the cane, um, I'm not... Well, I feel like I'd be more of a hindrance than a help in combat. <clears throat> you just said you missed out on the fun. Okay, just because I have, you know, limitations doesn't mean that I don't want to partake, you know what I mean? Right. Okay. Oh, and to you, he says, turning back to Zevi. Hmm. Well, I guess what I mean to say is, if I am going to be a man running out of time, or if I am out of time, then that just means we better get to where we're going as fast as we can then, right? It has been a long time since I've heard the voices so loud in front of somebody. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I wouldn't. Well, I will anyway. <laughs> he says like a smile as he like tips his hat uh, and, and continues Wait. to like make his stride down the stairs. I'm gonna like try and stifle a laugh, but uh, again, still's not great. So. <laughs> <laughs> Still got it. He says. He says he's just like walking his way down. Um, now I'm gonna get a. She's gonna like leap down the stairs so that she doesn't have to bother with steps. <laughs> just um, for the battle. I think I'm gonna get one eye to man the top of the ship here. I'm feeling a little tired. I can handle it if you wish. Oh, uh, would you, Atlas? That would actually be <sighs> a great help, honestly. No need to bother old One-Eye. I'm sure he's got people to yell at down there. <laughs> How true. How very true. Um, 
Uh, if anyone needs anything from me, I'll, uh, I'm gonna be in my quarters. Um, if you knock, either me or, um, or Francois will enter the door, I'm sure. Oh, I don't think any of you have met Francois. Uh, that's my cat, by the way. Um, you'll see him around, I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, I need to find something real quick in some DMs. Um, All of them? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Hold on. Oh. Uh, okay, so, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm stealing it. Um, <clears throat> That's why I sent it to you. I'm going to post this in NPC art. Uh, Is, is this a, is this a boy cat or a girl cat? Boy cat. He is very handsome. <laughs> is he uh, always he, wearing the hat? He is always wearing the hat. And if you try to take it off of his hat, he will scratch you. Or sorry, if you do try to take it off of his head, he will scratch you. And hiss. And run away. Uh, Neon will make a mental note to visit the captain later just to pet the cat. <laughs> Uh, he is an orange tabby. I love him. I'm gonna get that hat. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 Okay, this... rocket raccoon. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Um, okay. And on that note, uh, I'm gonna quickly... Um, now, it is not entirely done yet, but we have the lovely Nano to thank for this lovely map that I'm about to drag you all to. Um, this is the first of three layers that I will have eventually for the Starcaller, uh, but here we are. Thanks, Nano. Thank you, Nano. You're welcome. Ooh. Oh, which... Which you guys can pick... Where the rooms are? You guys can pick any of these rooms I'm about to ping. All right, well, any of the outer rooms except the blue, except for the blue one. All right, that's I need Atlas's to pick. Room. I need to pick a room. I need to pick a room, and that's gonna be that's gonna be where everyone yeah, then, hates yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to pick a room, and then Rasilia immediately needs to pick the room that is the furthest away from that room. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm 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 looking. Um, we he said the corner. We picked one of the corner rooms. I I'm not gonna lie. Like ah, uh, I think I think one of these I think one of these rooms here would be the best. I think Silas would pick one of these to have a, to have a good view and stuff like that. Okay, that actually makes my decision easy because um oh, I was gonna get that room there. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this one so that I'm like close to Avante, <laughs> who's my seeing eye person. There we go. You guys can pick your rooms now. The bard has picked their choice. Actually, I think to get to Avante, you have to go like all the way around. Oh, you do kinda, yeah. Unless there's like. Is there a door on this end, Nano, or is it just walls here? Just walls. No, it's just walls just there. Walls. <laughs> Actually. Just walls? Okay, okay. There's, there's doors like, here, here, way. here. Yeah, the doors oh, okay. are the yeah, yeah. ones, right? Yeah, never mind, never mind. Yeah, yeah so... Yeah, never mind, I take that back. Uh, that's actually not that long of a hike for, for yeah. Zevi. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's, you know... We can say we can... I can... I can furnish what? the room. We can switch rooms if you want. Sure. And just, the, you know, a little, a little the, less of a... And I can furnish the rooms with it? whatever you guys want, if I have said furniture. Um, I, just I, send I, me a message. That's my own. Of course, everyone's just on opposite sides of where I am besides Atlas. I also What's decided gonna... you wanted to take up a room that had less space. I gotta be close to my seeing eye person, you know? Mm hmm Everyone just hates me, that's fine. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Yay, Lux! 
<laughs> Thank you, Heath. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, my character probably will spend no time in this room. <laughs> Un okay. Understandable. I'm just saying he'll be in his time in the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> I will now retreat to listening only, and then eventually leave. All right, okay. bye-bye, be safe. I love the fact that I have, looks like I have one of the largest rooms. Like, oh, blimey, that's a big bit. <laughs> I I love how I believe me and Silas have one of the smallest rooms and we're both co-inhabiting it together. <laughs> so it's gonna get really loud at, at each other, at, we, at us yelling at each other. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, after you all have kind of like um, helped establish and picked out um, uh, essentially all of your rooms, um, Dane kind of retires to uh, to his room, um, sitting in front of his desk where uh, Francois is waiting for him, as you can see atop his uh, uh, his desk there. Um, and he just like, oh, hello, Francois, as he kind of like just gently scratches his head. Um, okay. Um, before, okay. before we bed down for the night, Neon wants to go introduce herself to Francois. Ah, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, easily enough. Uh, so as you kind of like, uh, approach, um, to uh, knock upon the door. You see that there's like a little cat door. Um, and as you knock, Francois, you just you just uh, see like a little a little um, orange tabby's uh, head kind of pops out from the um, from the cat door with the hat still on and uh, looks up at you and goes Growl. Hey buddy, I, how did you know I came here to see your glorious self? Growl. I will kneel down and offer a, a like a, probably like some treats in my hand that I have prepared. <laughs> uh, he'll he'll sniff them. Uh, are they fish scented by any chance? They're probably just like some some scraps of fish. Yeah. Scraps of fish. I oh, can only yeah, give yeah. the real deal to Francois. Fran Francois accepts this uh, offering made in his honor um, with a great deal of uh, of dignity as uh you can see that he um leans over uh your your outstretched hand and begins nibbling the treats directly out of your hand his whiskers tickle you may i pet you i will offer my hand as a please let me pet you uh he'll take his head and just uh he, he you notice that he's like he's rather brash and blunt for a cat as he just like like bonks your your hand with his head like almost authoritatively <laughs> as he uh as he's just like Growl. so cat like captain all right uh she will <laughs> she will pet him and give him many compliments <laughs> um his tail does that thing where it like sticks like straight up for a bit and then just starts to like flick around um right and left you know oh. what gosh mm -hmm. I think I'm also going to head to the captain's room, um, and I might run into Neon there, because I realized that Zebby probably thinks she upset him. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's okay with you, uh, Ares. Oh yeah, I want to describe that like as, as uh, Zebby comes over, uh, they'll be able to... Uh, blind sense that they are like squatting down and giving the absolute like cutest and most lovely compliments to this cat as they are just completely hyper fixated on how adorable this cat is not noticing that i think like the captain and and zevi are both just hearing her go off <laughs> listen you probably hear me stub my toe at least once uh and you probably hear me before you see me as i'm using this broom handle to like navigate around by Aww. myself <laughs> are you all right i oh I i'm sorry that you got hurt on the way here i'm I... oh i i'm quite used to this 
you know, but it still kind of sucks. I, I, I don't think I can, like, I don't think, a, you know, a healing word would do much to help you, but love, hopefully Francois can make you feel better. Uh, is, is he cat? Yeah, because he's adorable. I... He is cat-shaped, yes. <laughs> I can describe him to you if you want, so you can, like, see him. Sure. Uh, he's like what you would imagine, like, a plushy being, but, like, very soft, a bit ragged, but in, like, a, in, like, a handsome, like, roguish type of way. He has this kind of, like, the, the, the really long whiskers, and he's kind of fluffy, kind of, like, you know, not really that fluffy, like, a middle ground, and he has this, like, really adorable, like, captain hat on that kind of fits his head perfectly. And he's, like, an He's kind of like a, what you'd imagine, kind of like the, the, the dusk sun kind of feels like. That kind of color. An orange. Oh, I, I remember this. Um, Josh, on a scale of Atlas to Captain, how are, how are my voices right now? Um, let me remind myself of your role. Oh, that's right. Um the first one. The second one I made, because so the first one I did blind, and then I did a yeah. second one to make sure that I was rolling in the right place. So okay. I have no idea what the first one is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll say now that with this roll, um, as you are, you know, spending time uh, with um, Neon? With Neon, yes. Sorry. My brain melted slightly. It's, o it's um, okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, as that is happening, uh, I'm going to borrow you real quick. Oh. Okay. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're okay. fine. I made the roll ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, white. If y'all have... <clears throat> Furniture requests. Send them my way. Yeah, potato sack. <laughs> I, I can uh, do a potato sack. Just do as punk as physically possible. Uh, punk? Yeah. My my character is really punk rock-ish, kinda. With a bit of like... How... It's like, like, just do two very... Like, do two very clashing decorative styles, and then that should be good. Because, like... Silas and her have completely different tastes in a lot of things. I will try my best to do punk. Uh, like, just like modern versus like traditional comfort. Oh no, I hope, I hope I didn't do anything bad by, by being near Harley's <laughs> character. Uh, you know, I'm having fun. I'm looking at British slang terms from the Victorian era. I'm going to have a lot of fun using these in general conversation right now. Oh, dear. Okay. You can call people a puff. A puff? That sounds kind of cute. A puff a fizzle. Poofta. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's like, uh... <laughs> well, what the fuck was there? was one I definitely have to try using at some point. Like, just weird phrases like, Are you trying to sell me a dog, mister? Which is just, are you lying to me, right? Like, they're just oddities. I'll be right back. And we never heard from him again. Da da da. Oh no! The I'm in danger! No! <laughs> oh yeah, this is a fun one. Uh, if I refer to someone with gas pipes, it means you got really tight pants on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can say that to Neon, question mark? Yeah, I was about to say, you got really the tight pants. Uh, get about the, 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 the blah, blah, blah. Again, the accent <laughs> rates was killing me more with these terms. You got really the tight uh, gas, you got really got the gas pipes on there. I mean, yeah, that's kind of with the guitar and stuff. There are some small pipes in it, so that's understandable. <laughs> yeah, I think this one will be fun for you. You're just the jammiest bit of jam. Jammiest bit. <laughs> and that just means you're smoking hot. <laughs> you're. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. 
Jammy is better like jam that. is how you say you are a beautiful, beautiful woman. <laughs> uh Men of their appreciation of jam. Mm, the jammy is bit of jam. <laughs> of course. Oh gosh, they've been gone for a while now. I feel so bad. I uh What's going on? I'm getting more worried as the more time passes. Oh, this is a great one to use for Carly's character. If, they, if she ever gets mad at me, I can call her. She's giving me pie, a uh, mouth pie, which is like a term of sc a street term for scolding delivered by a woman. <laughs> mouth pie. Mouth oh, pie. Fucking line. <laughs> They really are just inventing a fucking language if they're anything. Oh yeah, here's a fun one we'll, we'll all have to throw in. Oh, we're all having a Natty Narkin time! Which just means great fun. Daddy Narkin just means great fun. <laughs> that's what it- that's that what I would've guessed of. Uh, is this really Natty Narkin? What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> I called you a nurse of the whole handle. <laughs> Alright, I'm fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're lazy. <laughs> My mother is a saint, thank you. My <laughs> mother is a saint. <laughs> she is a great woman! <laughs> yeah, but she got a parish pickaxe. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Which just means prominent nose. <laughs> <laughs> Why I oughta? <laughs> <laughs> How about we go get uh, powdering hair? So, here's an idea for any one shot in the future. Someone uses all that kind of slang, and another person uses greaser slang. Oh, and we just send uh... each other a list of what each one means, and then we just talk to one another. And then wh whoever Jeffers side guesses what the other side is Absolutely, absolutely uh, Unintelligible. Yeah, completely out unintelligible. <laughs> oh, here's a fun one to say. Uh, this is a skill of a link. Uh, You're oh really, is it really Skittle Malink scenario? I'm it not sure. Of the worst fucking movie I've ever watched. What are they doing? It's been so long. They're having a Skittle Malink. Stop it! <laughs> Dude, it just means like, secret. <laughs> Skittle Malink is <laughs> <a> secret. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh there, goes, there goes Storm. Oh god, this one sounds way dirtier than it is. <laughs> What would the phrase "sponge it out" mean to you, Nano? Oh man, that's that's jacking <laughs> off. <laughs> I, that's what I think, but no, it just means forget that's jacking it. Jacking off. That's, ah, forget about it. Sponge it out. <laughs> oh boy. Forget about it. How about start a jolly? Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like thing. you start drinking. Close. It means you start the applause. So basically, you're starting to clap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would I would say that means to go out and get go on a bender. Yeah. There's also uh ah, I am gonna take the egg. <laughs> nope. <laughs> just just means to win. I take the egg. <laughs> Where the hell does this come from? England is a made up fucking country. <laughs> I know, here's a here's a fun one. Oh, we're gonna whoop her ups. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's just their term for karaoke. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's an inferior noisy singer, basically karaoke. <laughs> gonna whoop. <laughs> a whipper up? Is that what you call Wh it? Whooper ups. Whooper ups. Awesome. Whooper ups. <laughs> I'm glad I'm learning this and never have to worry about it again. <laughs> oh, I'll be using these words constantly. I intend to actually put this into my character sheet so I can bring them up. I intend to reason. never. Uh, I intend to <laughs> never understand the words you're saying. <laughs> I intend to never talk to Lux again. <laughs> I will cast the silence spell on you 24-7. Oh, but what about our good tickety-boo? Is there an option to go deaf? I know we have someone that's blind. I think death should be a good option. <laughs> Are you saying that in Eddie Narkin? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I swear. I've had it up to here. <laughs> I have had it. Up yeah, but I'm really enthusiastic. Uh, enthusiastic. Hey, Carly, where's where's Josh? <laughs> By the way, Carly, is... I've been using that time to just teach them all the slang and learning from fucking Victorian era. <laughs> there are some oh. great words. <laughs> uh, I wish I could join. 
<laughs> I'm having an enthusiasm, Muzzy. <laughs> I don't care what disease you have. I'm not having it. I not am... the enthusiasm, Muzzy. I'm this <laughs> the... <laughs> I am this close to I'm this close to adding Josh and begging him to save me. Josh, I beg of you, come back. Heath has oh, gone off oh, the deep God. end. Ah, <laughs> oh, but we go he will have to lollygag, won't he? <laughs> I'm about to do something that most people would consider a vile crime. <laughs> what do you mean a vile crime? It better be a war crime or don't do it at all. <laughs> I don't have to answer to you. Oh my god, right. you're back! Please Hello. don't Heath, Heath to I'm stop. filling your room with potato sacks. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell Heath to stop. He did not want to know what he did to us. I'm taking pretty, a danger. I'm very excited. No, um, Heath, so don't sorry about him. that. Uh, the, the role that was made had a lot of layers to it. <laughs> oh no. Uh... It's okay, I got my reading out of the way. Nice. Please quit <laughs> doing that ever again. Oh no, this is going to be this entire conversation, man. You guys won't have a word know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> Josh, can uh, can you do me a favor and cut to somebody else? I'll be like just two minutes. Okay. Before I can come back, because I I both have to think about what just happened and get back on my computer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this <laughs> happened with me. Did that secret I break the computer? I did this myself in character creation. It was a matter of time. It just fell on you. Don't worry about it. Okay. Sounds pretty skill malink to me. Stop it! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Stop! Please. I can't. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to fucking. Um, I'm mailing a pipe see. bomb to my own house at this rate. That's just Boulder Dash. <laughs> I was gonna. I, I, I was gonna. Uh, uh, what, <laughs> what I was gonna say is I can't wait for the uh, the upload to be put up so I can see what was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, Josh! I'm not the first sure like two be... minutes. I don't think I can be in the game anymore, Josh. I don't think I can stand no. this anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna have to step out. <laughs> in the me in the meantime, in the, me in the meantime, um. Uh, let's see. We haven't heard from uh, Tosh in a little bit. Uh, Tosh, what would uh, you be up to in the meantime. I know that you sent me something in DMs as well, but oh wait, he's muted. Right, Fuck. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, he's just in his room. He's cleaning his mask. Uh, is there anything else that he would be doing um, in the meantime? Not while likely. Is down for the evening. He is very meticulous. Unless uh, double check his name. Do unless something. Dawson we need happens the time. We need oh, the time. Yes. Make something up. <laughs> Why, uh, um, Ta Tausch is not a very outgoing individual. I I would say that uh, Dawson would uh, come by, by your. He would stop by. He would invite you to play cards. So I'm guessing um, like he knocks on the door as I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. So so let me let me just navigate him there real quick. Get to move on, Dawson. Okay, yeah. So He's basically, right. you would hear you would hear like a like a loud set of knocks upon your door. Dawson, that sounds like your heavy fists. Oh man, what we'll gave it away? The loud pounding and the bruised door. Come in. Want to play some cards? <laughs> uh, Tal's just gonna look over at him as he set his mask down. Hi. It has been forever since we have played cards. I know, right? Uh, man, I finally got all the uh, crewmates finally whipped into shape, so... <clears throat> Must now, have taken you two minutes, or you're still working on it? Uh, it's a little column A, a little column B. Uh, they're, they're, they're going to do what they're going to do. Uh, well, I might as well get some fun in while I can. <sighs> Let me take off the rest of my arm, and I will come meet you. What are you all playing at? I'm back. Uh, so we're gonna be, um, we're gonna be at the front of the ship, in front of the, uh, uh, the little galactic map. You'll see Matara there. We'll pass her by on the way over. Matara, the little one, yes. Yes, small one. Wee wee little one. Comes up to about your knee, maybe. 
I will be there. Just a moment. Excellent. I'll get the card set up. And he's he's going to slowly make his way back. Um, Talos will follow after two yeah. minutes. Okay. Uh, would you play for stakes or for fun? Uh, For fun. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Um, he would get a he would get the card that's set up on on this table over here, um, shuffling and uh, this this room kind of serves like uh, just below um, where the uh, uh, where the steering wheel would be above deck, um, and this room that's kind of like carved out underneath of that little alcove is like a really nice observatory. Um, something of a lounge you can see that there's like um areas for um for music playing with the piano um there seems to be various sorts of games uh and even in the corner there's there appears to be like uh you know just like sets of cushions and um all sorts of amenities within this place um and i'm just gonna have you two do like contested uh since he doesn't have a set of cards in his inventory, I don't think at least. <laughs> um, we'll just do contested uh, intelligence checks raw. I or I would, I would, I would allow for. Oops. Um, uh, I'll just, ro I'll just. Um, yeah, there we go. Let me just double check something. Uh, oh, but if you okay. So it'll be intelligence if you're playing, you know, with strategy. But if you plan to cheat, uh, I'll let you use. Um, he doesn't cheat. Charisma or <clears throat> okay, okay. Alrighty. I, yeah, so I lose. Uh, <laughs> ah, these windows are a nice addition. Keeps me from staring at that ugly mug. Ah, <laughs> uh, you haven't changed a bit, and you're one to fucking talk, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and he he kind of like has like a smirk as he um. Uh, he's kind of like adjusts his eye patch a bit and begins uh, setting up the cards for, for round two. Um, I was the one who got lucky to find the mask. You unfortunately <laughs> must just suffer. Do you know how hard it is to find masks that, you know, fit Dragonborn face? <laughs> mm. Unfortunate circumstances for you. It was hard enough to find thing. a fucking hat with holes in it. He says, I had to custom order this. He says he like kind of adjusts the uh, the feathered cap on his brow. I'm surprised you didn't just rip it. I okay. So I've tried that before with hats, and see the problem I, is that like, yeah, it gets all frayed and fucking. It just it looks ugly. <sighs> Charles right. will just shake his head, and we can go back to the others. <laughs> um, as you two are continuing that card game, we're going to pivot back to uh, Zevi and Neon a bit. Um, I'm ready. Okay, uh, then I'll let you go ahead and take it from here. Okay, in the middle of that conversation, um, Zevi will grab her head with both hands. Give me a second, my mom's trying to get the dog in the house. <laughs> You're ready, your mom's not ready. <laughs> She'll grab her head with both of her hands and, like, fall to her knees and go, Ah! <sighs> Uh, Neon will kind of, like, gently let go of Francois and, like, try to, like, hold on to your hands to see what's wrong. Uh, is fine? Should I get someone? Are you gonna be okay? This is, is this bad? When you go to touch her, she'll grab your arm very tightly. Um, and in a voice that's not quite her own, sort of ethereal, she'll say, How long can you outrun the men of mercy, of Mercury? Those little wings and little songs can only carry you so far. And then she'll go back to holding her head. I, I see uh, little uh, things. What, what is wrong with you? I, I, I will, like, I know that this guy is over here, right? Avante? Uh, yeah. yeah. You've probably seen him enter that room before. Alright, I'll, like, rap on that door, like, 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 to get his attention. Like, hey, 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 hey! Uh, we need some help out here, please. Like, now, stat! Uh, Avante, oh, uh, <clears throat> yes, yes, one, 
moment, please. Uh, and he opens not, the door. Not just a moment, says so, so needs you. She needs you here, here. Go go help her. I don't know oh, what, what what's wrong. Zevi, are you okay? I see creatures made of metal everywhere. Why? What are they? Uh, he, he'll look over his shoulder at you, Neon. Um, and then, c- kind of like, for, for a moment, he'll, he'll like, take his time after he kneels down to, like, you know, basically, like, um, to rub your back, Sevi, as he's done before, to kind of, like, help calm you down. And as soon as your breathing becomes to, like, slowly start to come back to normal, uh, he's going to approach you, Neon, and say, uh, I apologize. Um, she's... her visions are... When the voices are loud, as she calls it, um, it's possible for her to see glimpses of, well, portions of past, present, and sometimes future. They're mixed and melted in a way, at least from what I've been able to gather, at least, of her abilities. Can I have you write that down, what you said to me, by the way, uh, Zevi? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. I just, I, I was just talking to her. I didn't mean to do any of that. No, no, you did nothing wrong. Um, neither did she. The voices uh, pick interesting times to make themselves known. Should I, should I leave? Would that make her feel better? I. No, this is not. I. This is. This is not like the other times. This is different. Something is wrong. Oh, Sophie. He says he kind of, like, goes over and, um, kneels down to, like, help her again. <sighs> I can see things, vivid things. I want to say that seeing all of this, uh, Neil will take her glasses off for the first time in front of just a lot of people. And you see just, I want to say that he especially sees shifting gears and just pure polished silver in her eyes as she... Looks her oh, glasses. No, no more gears. They're everywhere. S- Silas, can you get over here for a second? Hi. Uh, what's uh, what's going on? <clears throat> and you, I, you're a bit more supernatural than I am. You kind of understand these things a bit more. Uh, can you help her in any way? I don't know what I can do. DM. <sighs> If I part my robes a little bit and look down at my own chest, is anything weird? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, since I'm doing that in this bout of madness, uh, describe what everyone who is here sees. Um, so how far are you opening it? Um, I want to say, like, right before, like, cleavage would happen. Like, like, right, like, I'm just looking at my sternum. Right. As she opens, like, this small portion, you guys can see what looks to be, um, a long diamond-shaped black scar, almost looking, uh, marking on her sternum, uh, that kind of, like, travels down and, um... But this is no ordinary scar. It's more almost like a tear or a void. Um, a just completely um, dark and fathomless uh, portion um, where skin and sinew and body should be. Um, there's just this 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 mark of a void that is just currently lingering um which you're used to zevi however what you're not used to uh is the weird black pulsations of like a uh rippling like um aura that is now kind of like emanating from it oh fuck uh you see then as silas looks at that and goes Oh, oh, hells no. Absolutely not. I am not fucking with void shit. <laughs> what? 
What do you mean by that? I, you have some context? As in, she's you? void touched, Neon. That shit, uh-uh, no. Not good do news. I know even, even in terms of hells, bad news. Do I know anything about void touched at all, or no? Uh, is it make me an arcana check at disadvantage? I'm just like, I'm just, just throwing out something. She wants to help, but, you know. Mm. Uh, no. You, She's panicking? Uh, you've, I mean, you and Silas have, have been talking for a long, long time. I don't think you probably have gotten into the nature of void politics between, no. uh, you know, the hells with, with Silas yet. So <laughs> this is probably the first you've heard him talk about it. Yeah. Uh, but, Zevi, is there anything we can do? Do we need to leave you? Do you need something to distract you? What? I'm sorry that something it's, happened. It's not your fault, I promise. It's... I, I don't know. This has never happened to me before. Uh, I've had... I don't know what is happening. I feel an ache in my chest like I've never felt before. I... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for grabbing you. I need... I need rest. Avante is going to lean down and kind of like offer um, the crook of his arm to you to kind of like hook into. She'll take his arm and slowly get up. <sighs> He's then going to look to you, Neon, um, and to Silas and say, uh, My deepest apologies. Um, I'm going to escort her back, but please do not blame yourselves for what has occurred. Just. I'll keep an eye on her. Uh, I don't think Neon will say anything until they leave. Okay. Woo! Um, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag you to down here then for now. Yeah, uh, Neon does have a, we'll have a word with Silas real quick though. Uh, if sure. the captain comes out though, that's, that's understandable. I'm just like... Uh, so, what happens here is, um, after the footsteps retreat, there is like a uh, the the door to his his room cracks open a little bit. And he kind of steps out. Is everything all right? I heard a well a commotion outside my room. Uh, let's just say that I might have gave Zevi the worst reading of her maybe life. I didn't mean to, but apparently it just happened. So I. I don't- I don't really know what to do. As you say this, he... I'm gonna make a check with him quite privately. Okay. Uh, he's gonna clutch at his, um, his gauntleted hand real quick and then kind of shake his head as you say that and say, No, no. Don't you blame yourself, Neon, it's not on you. She got too close to me, and I think it, uh, I think being close to me awoken something in her. I... Neon just kind of gives him a look, like, I understand that we're playing the blame game, but usually, like, I, I don't think there should be a winner in this, at least, it doesn't feel ethical. No, I'm not saying it in terms of winning or losing. I'm just trying to state facts. I don't... that... You need to learn to shut up and just take it easy. I understand that... yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm doing it again. Anyways, uh... I'm sorry if anything she said to you was bad and that your past is bad. It's just that mainly... Don't feel like you have to blame yourself, I guess. Like, what, what she said and what everything's happening, it's just... That's a curse that she has to deal with, and I'm sorry about it, but... We're not trying to hurt her, so don't feel bad about it. And I shouldn't either, just... I'm sorry. Nah, she kinda, don't feel she, bad. We all kinda, have our own curses to bear, it seems. Yeah, she kind of rubs the back of her net really awkwardly, like... She wanted to handle it a different way, but after she started, she started talking, she just backpedaled pretty hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, you okay? She kind of like tilts her head. 
Oh, me? Yeah. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm just... Just not as sprightly as I used to be. That's all. You're... You don't need to give me some bullshit to make me feel better. If you've had a piece of shit day, or you feel like a piece of shit, you can just tell me. <laughs> Darling, I'm always a piece of shit, but I appreciate that. Um, no, no, it's not anything like that. Um, when I say that I I am drained, trust me. Uh, uh, I'm not lying. <laughs> Let's just say that, um... And throughout this journey, if I'm not going to be up at that wheel, or out in the town, I'm probably going to have to be in here. Uh, I, have I... I may not know the entire story we he's talking about, but I've seen, a, I've seen many of afflictions in my life where people have not been able to do work because of hazardous things happening. It doesn't have to be an exact case, but can I, can I understand what he's putting down? Uh, give me a medicine check. Okay. This is gonna be bad. Nine? Um, yeah. He looks a bit clammy and pale, but besides, like, <laughs> besides that, you can't really gather if this is just, like, he's maybe just feeling under the weather for today, or, um, or if this is more of a long-term thing. You're not quite sure. You can't really get much of a diagnosis, um, at the moment. You say it's going to be a long-term thing. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> Just have a good rest. I'm not going to disturb you any longer. I see. I seem as I already do that enough as is with everyone else here. No, 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 no. You'll find your way around. Just give him time. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself, cowboy. <laughs> You too, little lady. He says he kind of like begins to make his way into his room. Um, Silas is going to follow along um, next to you and say, ah, Well, he's nice enough. It's just uh, a little unfortunate, isn't it? Everything that's going on right now. It's your past Lux. As you pass Lux, you'll just see he has an arm full of food as he's walking towards his room now. <laughs> like double armed. Oh, hey, how's it going, Mom? <laughs> Uh, it, complicated, could be better, but it could be worse, as always. But, uh, she gives you, like, a bit of a salute until she walks out and just goes to her room with Silas to have a quick conversation real quick. Are you sure I made you enough there, little one? Uh, Carlotta says from, like, the other side of the kitchen. Oh, it's great, Mom! Uh, you, you really banged up the elephant! You humans have such funny turns of phrases. She says that she's like chopping up like a salad. <laughs> or ingredients for a salad. <laughs> uh, speaking of you, Lux, uh, what else do you do currently besides stockpiling uh, a small poor food at the moment? Sorry, you are roboting. I don't know if it was just you or me. <laughs> oh. It might be. It might be me. Oh, <laughs> I think it's everybody. One sec. I might have to turn off awesome. my Discord. Yeah. Hamster. Hamster. There we oh, go. Okay. It's better I now. I just turned my, my Discord was mucking up again. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay. Getting back to it. Um. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, yeah. So Lux. Uh. Pivoting to you. Um. Besides, hoarding a small little stockpile of food in your small little arms. Uh, what else are you up to currently? Well, uh, given my passive that you know, um, I probably overheard a lot of what just happened. <laughs> yeah, I saw how close your token was too while that was happening, so yeah, that's a fair enough thing to say. Uh, he'd probably start, you know, sc scarfing down the food quickly in his mouth, just kind of like double fisting the pies in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I guess he'd probably go check up on, uh, Zevi, just because he's now concerned about her. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, yeah. If you want, you can make your way to her room. Um. Let's see. Okay, okay. Um. I think Rosilia at this point would have been called by Matara, so I'm going to bring her to the galaxy map room. There. 
Ah, I can't move my token for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah, it just hmm. doesn't seem to be moving. I don't know why. Give me a sec. I keep trying. And maybe it's because I'm trying to go past the walls, but you don't have walls up, do you? No, not for this map. Not yeah, yet, at least. I, I don't know why. Hmm. I keep trying to drag him over, but he's not moving. Maybe I can. I'll try using the mouse instead. Okay. Or the keyboard. That's Let odd. me know if not, and I can delete the. Uh, I can delete the token and drag it back out and see if that fixes it. Yeah, maybe because it might have been because I reset the. I had to turn off my router, so I was disconnected for a sec. So maybe it just mucked up. Maybe. Okay. Let me uh. Delete this. Drag this. Okay. Try now. Okay. Let's see here. One second. Uh, no, no, I still can't move my token. Hmm. Refresh server. Josh, Josh, for unrelated reasons, can you check DMs? I open my, I can open my character sheet just fine. I'll try re rebooting you. One sec. up patrol now yeah now i can so I just, it must have been just because i left or i had okay. to turn off the server so it mucked up for a sec <laughs> okay so uh yeah he'd go over to check on levy quick we'd just go outside her door and knock on it quickly sorry who is that <laughs> My mistake, sorry. I said an L instead of a Z. <laughs> what do you think Avante's doing to try and help Zevi right now? Damn. I think I think kind of like a, 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 a something that they would have done or started doing um, in their own private time would have been like practicing like uh, breathing exercises so he'd be like trying to like get her to like take like deep breaths in, deep breaths out until she like stabilizes her breathing fully. I think that's what he'd be doing with her currently. Okay. Uh, now, remember, deep breath in. And then hold it. And then out. There we go. Oh. I think I heard someone knock on the door. Yeah, I think I did too. You matter. Oh, ah, uh, thanks. And yeah opens up, slowly opens up the door and kind of scuttles his way in. Avante gives him a little bit of space, um, looking out towards the windows. <coughs> ah. hello, hello, child. Oh, how, how you doing, Bert? I, uh, just making sure you're doing alright. I, I kind of heard you talking with the captain and Jenner. Uh, you didn't sound like you were doing very well. Uh, I see. I should be fine at some point. Um, I... It is very unpredictable what I... What I see and hear. It is a... A twisted magic. Um, sometimes it affects me adversely. Ah... Uh, you... You, you hear? things? <laughs> uh, yes, like voices. Oh, I Sometimes. hear voices all the time, Mum. <laughs> well, I hear voices when people are not talking to me. <laughs> oh, so do I. <laughs> okay, um, maybe, maybe it is different. <laughs> oh, 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 you mean like, and he taps his skull. She nods. <laughs> Yes, like that. Oh! You know, I had a mate who used to say that sort of thing, but I always thought he was just doing Boulder Dash. <laughs> Isn't that a game? Boulder Dash. <laughs> <laughs> Boulder Dash is English slang for fake news. <laughs> ah. 
Of course. <laughs> um, perhaps. Um, I I am all right. I I will be all right. Uh, perhaps not today. Perhaps not tomorrow. But uh, it, I am quite accustomed to this. It's been many years. Ah. Uh. Okay, there. Well, you, you sure, though? I mean. Uh, once I stop seeing these fucking cogwheels, I will feel a lot better. Cogwheels? She's just sort of like <laughs> moving. She's like moving her head around the room. It's like the cogwheels, but. <laughs> like the one attached to Neon's. She, like, motions to her own back, like, not sure what to call the thing Neon has strapped to her back. <laughs> oh, that's... that's an odd one. They are floating everywhere. I'm but, still seeing them, right, Josh? You are, yeah. My character yeah. looks around, trying to see where if he can see them. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, because Neon's not near anymore. Uh... Okay. What am I seeing else. now? Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna drag you really, really fast because uh, uh, I don't want to like say anything. <laughs> okay, you're killing me. Okay. <laughs> when you make your character find out all the secrets. Quit making up stupid words like England. <laughs> I, dude, I made a list and it's now in my character sheet that I can reference for quick reference. England isn't real quick lying. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, honestly, I'm beginning to miss the cogwheels because now I see fucking wolves. <laughs> Do you say that to him? <laughs> yes, she says that out loud. Um, wolves? Wolves? Yes, they are watching. I don't think they are watching me. You're, you, you, you see, wolves. Hmm. You, you're There's not selling me a dog, are you, mom? And one there. And she's like pointing to like just outside the door. <laughs> looks back. A character looks around, just kind of like, and it looks back. You're not selling me a dog, are you? I don't have a dog to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've heard of some people use them to uh, to help the blind, um, you know, like a seeing eye wolf, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> oh yeah, because like, they got them sniffers. Mm. <clears throat> well, I um, you 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 you're sure you're doing okay? I mean. You're not, uh, Avan you're not up Avan to the dick, are you? <laughs> I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, um, you're not sick? Avante? Uh, yes. Could you do me a favor and fetch that friend of yours? Uh, I could use even a moment of silence. Which... The so one I heard nothing. It was quiet around him. I I need oh. a moment of quiet. Yes, of course. I will be. Thank right. you. She says like, and she's like, she put her hand like under her mask to like rub her eyes, mm -hmm. and like her head, um, but just like slipping them under, not like lifting it up. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the meantime, Atlas, um. Yo. There is a knock upon your door. <laughs> I'm steering the boat. Oh, you are steering the boat. That's right. Uh, you know what? Okay. Avante would go up to visit you and say, uh, For the meantime, you are being relieved. Um, I can take over from here for a brief moment. Uh, your requests or your, your uh, presence is requested uh, by uh, our local seer, Zevi. Um, mentioned something about... Uh, your presence being calming for, you know, the voices. Hmm. Very well. Step away from the wheel and let him take over. 
he'll yeah he'll he'll kind of like slip in as you kind of guide out um uh, god please don't show me something else terrifying i'm begging you <laughs> <laughs> um, at that moment, uh, Avante will kind of like look over his shoulder to to you, Atlas, um, and say, um, "Don't worry. Um, I'm going to try our best, or try my best, to guide us to the uh, to the entrance of the soul of the uh, well, to the first solar rail, and then we'll uh, see where we go from there." Well, once you get there, let me know. If the captain's not feeling well enough, I might have to handle it for us. Uh, let's hope that he is able to, well, uh, brave the morning, at least. Uh, it's gonna be quite an incline. Indeed. Alright, um... So, uh, do you make it, do you just go, like, straight to Zex's mm. Yeah, I guess uh, he will ask somebody what quarter she took. Yeah, um, as, as you ask around, uh, there would be a couple of the crewmates that said that she took the um, bottom uh, right hand most, or sorry, I guess technically, if we're looking at the ship, I guess from bottom to top, it'd be the top right most corner. <laughs> If you're the like the top leftmost corner, for example. <laughs> yeah. We will head over and knock on the door. Please come in. Is Lux still in there? Unless I was kicked out, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll walk in. As he walks in, I'm gonna grab his hand. Does it quiet? It does, actually. Oh, thank you. God. Atlas looks around a moment. Did I miss something? Please I... do not move. Yeah, she was a bit as mad as Hops for a bit. Mm. I... Uh... I've been having hallucinations that are perhaps different than normal, and you are the only person on this ship who has brought me some semblance of peace, so I need you to stay there for a moment, please. And her, like, her shoulders drop. Wolves are gone from the front door? Yes. Atlas, he nods and he doesn't say anything negative about it. He understands. Well, somewhat understands. <laughs> he gets it. I was around Neon and I... I'm not sure what happened, but uh, something shifted. And my mind began to go... And I have a feeling it is not quite over, but just a moment of peace will do, if I'm not troubling you terribly. No, not at all. I was just enjoying the view upstairs, but you got windows here. You can <laughs> enjoy the view still. Cool. You're a bit of a... Gal sneak, aren't you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Not quite sure what you mean by that. <laughs> uh, good with the lady, sir. <laughs> ah, well. Ponders that for a moment. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Depends on who you ask, really. God, the facial expressions that I would have if you could see through my mask right now. <laughs> the fucking stink eye I'd be giving you. <laughs> oh. 
How about this? Pass time with a story. I look forward to it. The story takes place in a quaint city about 300 years ago. And Alice was tell a story about when he was in a band. When he was in a band? Yeah, he was in a band. That's he right. He was in a right. band? He still what? has an instrument, too. Oh, that's Why right. Why don't you join? We can be buddies. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Make me... Okay, okay. Just to, let, me, let me see how uh, your story renditions go. Um, Atlas, give me a performance check. Just, uh, you know, just to... Good at these. <laughs> Um, it's from a while ago. How do I narrate this? <laughs> um, <laughs> Zevi and Lux. Um, Atlas goes on about uh about his time um in a band 300 years ago. Um, and he's very passionate about it. He meanders. He he meanders through like bits and pieces here and there, but he's it's he's it's coming from a good place. And you see, that was the first time I ever played the handpan in front of a live audience. <laughs> How old are you? You know, I kind of stopped counting after the first 300. Cool! So, if you were... How, how old were you 300 years ago? On your side of the moment. <laughs> ponders it for another moment. <laughs> <laughs> so he's staying in silence like she's waiting for an answer. Begins to count on his fingers a moment. <laughs> the sound of Do you space need to crickets. take your shoes off, the gov? <laughs> this the sound of space crickets can slowly be heard like beginning to fill the room. <laughs> a tumbleweed passes. <laughs> I would say technically probably about 550 around there. You are old. Yes. <laughs> Mommy. My people, we age oh. vastly differently than many other races. To some, effectively, we are mortal. My people are the same. She sort of tilts her head. But I have not played my hand pan in a couple of centuries now. I'm probably very, very rusty at it. Yes, uh, you is a bit of a whopper ups. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> well, Atlas, thank you for this moment of peace. I suspect my future does not have very many moments of peace in it. I wouldn't say that. I mean, you got all us about. Are you afraid of wolves, perchance? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my character just looks up at her and kind of looks shyly away. It's like, um, I am... I was in the woods for a bit when I left the city. Well, don't worry. I'm fairly certain there are no wolves in space. I hope not, Mum. <laughs> Perhaps you should go check on Neon and uh, make sure she's okay. She seemed quite concerned. And you, Atlas, I relieve you of your duties. Perhaps it is best I be alone for a while. Of course! I, I'll go see her right away. And my character at monk speed dashes out the door. <laughs> uh, before you go, I'm gonna oh. give you like a like a like a gentle pat on the head. Like <laughs> my character blushes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
glad I didn't cut a finger well, in there. <laughs> I will be steering the boat if anybody needs me. Boat. Ah, yes, the hand pan. For those who don't know what it sounds like. My character will then knock on uh, Neo's, t Neo's door. <laughs> Neo. Neo. <laughs> I'm so sick of love songs. <laughs> you are the uh, one. <laughs> I want to say after a moment, Neon opens the door. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Lux, what, what's going on? I just wanted to check up on you. I kind of overheard what was going on with the captain. Wanted to make sure you're okay. Uh, I'm doing pretty all right. Silas is just kind of lounging on the bed. Just looks over to him. I assume he's going over some music sheets or something. Yeah, he's he's currently trying to decipher something for a song he's working on. Mm -hmm. Are we doing pretty alright? You're all uh, tickety boo then. What? Tickety boo. All good. Ah, <laughs> uh, I understand that we have some weird language where I come back from, and <laughs> uh, you. <laughs> Can I can I speak can I speak in binary in front of speak <laughs> binary? Yeah, in you front can. Of what... Well, can you can you describe what it sounds like Neon saying? It's like uh, okay, when when she, when Neon starts speaking binary, Lux to you what it sounds like is a bunch of like um like almost like clicks and gasps almost like just sounds like, like R2D2. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, not that bad. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, not not quite like that. But it's like a bunch of um, it's like it's like robotic clicking almost. Blimey, that's something else. Yeah, it's it's uh not the native language that I speak, but it's uh one that I kind of picked up. Oh, you picked up a second language? Oh, I know three languages. Well, the common. You know, normal tongue. Uh, it's not my first language, actually. It's like my my my, my second. But uh, I also know my home language. Oh, that's really impressive. Uh, but I, I'm a bit shaken by by what happened with Avery. But I, <clears throat> I, I really didn't mean to do that to her. And I, 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 I knew that she said that it wasn't me. But it's also like, uh. It's kind of, you know, pretty coincidental is all. Oh, you're a bit poked up about it. Oh, that I can actually kind of, yeah, I'm a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Is that what yeah. I can actually infer? <laughs> <laughs> Remember what they taught you in primary school? Use context clues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'll be alright. I just hope the, the Missy is gonna be okay. I... Uh, I'm, I'm sure she'll it, sponge but... it out. Yeah, yeah. I hope she, I hope it smooths over as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love how the one person who can maybe half interpret Lux is neon. It's it's, it's fitting, it's technically considering. <laughs> <laughs> And I just want everyone to know, mechanically, for the next week and a half in game time, I have disadvantage on all ability checks. Fun. I'm so sorry! <laughs> no, I'm so sorry! It's not oh my God. God. So, so, which out of, out of character, out of character, she not won her sanity save. <laughs> oh, fun. I, I'm so... I'm so... I not I not won. It's not, it's not you. I not won the blood. No, it roll. is. For story reasons, it's gotta be me. Come. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. But anyways, yeah, it's okay. Big hug. I saw we. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I, I have ways around skill checks. Um. Mm -hmm. So like we're fine. Okay. I just like the but fact I... that that means your hearing's a disadvantage too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha! I, I assume that everything will be alright and it'll smooth back over like nothing happened, but just for right now, I feel a bit on edge as, as you said. Uh, I can see what you mean. It's She's a bit. um, she was, she was a bit shaken up. Even when I was around, she started seeing weird things. I mean, she said that she saw weird things as well when she was with me, but. Uh... Yeah, but she likes uh, space wolves! 
Space Space Wolves. That one, yeah. <laughs> this is the worst game of telephone I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. DM, DM, DM. Mm. On God, on God. Uh, right. I don't know much animals from the from my home, so I just know them based <laughs> off of material plane equivalents by secondhand knowledge, right? Yeah, essentially. <laughs> well, I, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really, I've never really seen many animals in my life, because there's just not many where I'm from, but uh, those are like those big dog things, right? I'm um, like they, they're like dogs, but bigger, furrier, wilder, and they eat people, mum. Ah, like those things in the scrapyard. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand. It's you see that neon looks kind of a little bit worried, but in like a ah, oh, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it. Uh, I wonder why. I, as far as I know, those are not really. She looks kind of confused when you say that. Like, is this just something that, like, she just picked up randomly? Like, she doesn't know why she saw space dogs. <laughs> space <laughs> wolves. <laughs> but it... Are you doing okay, though? Oh, me, Mom? I'm, I'm doing fan fantastic. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, is there anything you need? Kind of thinks about it quietly. Hmm... I don't know, Mum. I, I, I think I'm doing okay. Is there anything you want me to get you? Uh, I don't... I can I run don't down really... real quick. I'm really quick. I, I know that you are, but <laughs> I don't I don't believe that I really need anything right now. Well, if you change your mind, just let me know. No, yeah, well, speak for yourself. I could use a sub. Alice, <laughs> you're gonna really work the... Okay, yeah. You know, somebody just, like, fucking runs off to the kitchen, 30 seconds later runs back. <laughs> He is so fast. <laughs> you don't want your signature tea with that. I thought you'd ask. Oh, could you be a deer and give me tea? <laughs> right on the right on gov. And he just dashes off and dashes <laughs> back. <laughs> and when you got 140, 120 foot movement when you use a key point, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. Seeing you get Silas tea, and Neon's like, you know... If I weren't being a baller, could you give me some as well? Oh, right away, right away! And he just... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, when he's gone, Silas... I mean, uh, Neon just turns to Silas. I feel a bit bad, but God, tea is wonderful here. And it's it's not just tea, it's instant tea. Oh, I forgot to tell him something! Oh, oh I had to wait for him to get back. <laughs> it only takes him 12 seconds. <laughs> oh, hey, hey! Can you find me some like industrial grade oil, like 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 a little bit of it? You need oil, mum. Yeah, I need oil. It's it's the drink. <laughs> cool. That actually makes sense. <laughs> so you like drink oil, mum? Oh, I I like splashing it with other flavors. It's just I could drink straight oil. That's what I'm used to. It's just the flavor of it gets kind of stale after few hundred years <laughs> just tilts his head at that <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well yeah you're like you're like barely in your few decades aren't you oh, I'm, I'm, I'm between get, 12 I, and 14 mom I'm not quite sure how oh, old I am <laughs> you'd still be a baby oh you little poor thing oh god this is making me feel worse uh <laughs> Silas is gonna like Silas says now he's now no longer even looking at the music sheets. He now has like a like a rubber ball that he's like bouncing off the ceiling. And as he as he explains his age, he kind of like laughs and goes, <laughs> "He reminds me of the puppy all over again." He's just he's like bouncing the uh, um the uh, the ball off the ceiling. Don't remind me of puppy. I still feel bad about that. Just leaving. But anyways, uh, yeah. I mean home they still put you to work but at least you know that's kind of illegal in some places but it's fine just pats your head a little bit more like ruffling it like you don't understand what she's saying but she just said that child labor is enforcing her in her home <laughs> i mean at this point he starts blushing again when you pat his head all right uh can you give, give me that oil real quick 
Where's them? Uh, he, he dashes down to the engine room <laughs> at full speed. <laughs> oh, God. I want him just to see that, hey, Niard wants some more oil to Oh, yeah, drink, that's what he's going to do. Like, who does he see down in the engine room? <laughs> Oh boy, uh, in the engine room. You know what, I'll give you guys a sneak peek at the art since uh, it's not quite done yet. However, um, it's, 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 uh, it's at a point where, you know, I can at least get the, uh, the, what should I call this? Um, uh, the sneak peek. I, I have like a, I have a work in progress of, uh, that I'll have to do until I get the official art. Um, <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna post this in NPC art. I hiccup. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I'm sorry. I just. No, you're fine. <laughs> um. Are you going to see the boy? The boy. That's what I see. Uh -huh. I know that art style anywhere. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, so as you come down, you, you see like a um, you see like a maybe maybe at most three foot tall little astronaut frog just kind of jump in his and see go whoa whoa oh <laughs> oh holy shit you nearly scared the skin off my head. Hello, hi, I'm Gibo. Oh. Uh, sorry there, Guff. Didn't mean to scare you. I I'm looking for uh, good, great oil, particularly one with a nice blend. <laughs> oil with a, a, with a, with a blend. Mm-hmm. You know, a nice to the palate. Blend of what? <laughs> to, <laughs> to the palate. Blend well. <laughs> to the palate? Mm -hmm. As in, like eating? Oh, oh God. Um. <laughs> oh, 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 gods. Uh, okay, okay. Uh. uh uh, oh, oh, fuck. And he's, he's gonna, like, <laughs> look around through the barrels of it, and you see what he's gonna do? Is he's gonna, like, he's gonna take, like, his, 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 like, oxidizing, like, food tube that's, like, attached to his, um, <laughs> that's attached to his, like, little, uh, helmet, and he's going to, like, poke it into each of the... Wait, I just thought of something. Neon's gonna come down here like it's Starbucks. Oh, no. <laughs> you see that he takes he takes his food tube and he pokes into each of the um each of the barrels and takes like a little sip and just goes, ah, ah, ah. hold on yeah. okay give me a moment and he's gonna do it like three more times and go okay out of all of these this one he's to see as he grabs like the second one tastes the least like shit so here take it he says as he's like handing it to you i he, I, I give he, it a sniff <laughs> it smells like just straight motor oil <laughs> i hope we're not buttering up the bacon with this one a uh, buttering the uh, wait there's bacon <laughs> i could i could go for some bacon it, it, it... <laughs> Would really, really beat the. the oh, I'll be back in a sec, sir! And he just dashes off as soon as he says that. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, friend. Dashes right up to uh, to Neon and he goes, Hey, here you go, Mum. The best oil you uh, <laughs> Neon will try it and just say, Ah, oh, this is the sweet stuff. Ugh. Oh, I like the bit of the darker stuff more, but I guess oh. it's, I guess it's alright. Ah, <laughs> uh, we did butter up the bacon. <laughs> I mean, does he have the strongest stuff that he has? It shouldn't be that bad, right? Well, I gotta go back down there for him anyways, Mom, so I'll ask. And he dashes out, grabs... All right, I'll go, she, will hand you the she will hand you the drink real quick before you leave. Yeah, grabs it, goes back to the orc woman. It's like, I need some bacon, Mom! <laughs> uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll start frying it up now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think... It's like like the kind of oil from her home is like expressly like the worst shit like literally like, and so she's used to it being being like top top grade as in the most strong. Mm -hmm. So it's like this is this is like drinking pure sugar for her. It's. <laughs> I'd say then Lux just grabs the bacon, stubs it in his pocket, dashes back down to the engine. <laughs> <laughs> 
goes up to the frog. Here you go, sir, the bacon. Oh, by the way, do you got anything stronger than this? Like, like real nasty. <laughs> Whoa, you just want tar. Yeah, hold on. I need tar. <laughs> <He's a sea-like. laughs> and he, he, he grabs like a small cask of this stuff and sets it like on his like little workbench table and goes, all right, so this is black tar that's been sitting in my basement for the past six years straight fermenting. If this doesn't, like, I don't know, guzzle her gullet or whatever, I don't know. My name isn't Gibo, which it, my name is Gibo. Wait, is that the bacon? Is that oh, pocket you bacon? Yeah, you can't you pocket bacon? <laughs> can I, wait, can I interest you? And he reaches into his pocket and pulls out like two sticks of cheese. I will trade you the pocket bacon for pocket cheese. Ah, oh, you got a deal, Cuff! <laughs> oh, fucking I... awesome. He says he grabs this bacon from I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, Josh. I thought you were gonna say Black Tar Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Gibo, ready for that. Gibo, Gibo then takes his food tube, takes the bacon, and what he does is he... <laughs> He takes it, puts it into a mortar, a mortar and pestle, adds like a little bit of like water and paste, and just mashes the bacon into a paste, which he can then slurp up and go, "Oh God, that's the good shit! Thank you, <laughs> thank you, small child." Ugh. Welcome, come and he psh, runs right back up. To oh, dashes goodbye, it friend. towards me. <laughs> Uh, Gibo is by himself again. He says he begins to like work on the boiler. <laughs> My character probably would hear that too <laughs> as he leaves. <laughs> All right, Josh. How is this like for Neon, knowing knowing the planet that she's from and it's, the kind of descriptions I gave actually, you? It's actually not bad. It's like this. Like okay, it's not as high as like the top end stuff that's from where you come from, mm -hmm. but. This has some surprising kick to it. It's I like, mean, um, it's like espresso. Uh, I mean, not the best I've had. I'm a bit of a courtier uh, with it, but what, what, is it, what is it like? What is it? What's the right word? What's the right word? Mm. Uh, what's the right word for saying that you like something a lot like coffee? Like, like, or something like that. I oh, forgot the right uh, word. Where is it? Uh, uh, I don't oh, Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> You're looking for the word savant? So perhaps? <laughs> I'm a bit of a savant when it comes to these things. It's not that bad. Give my compliments to the chef, but uh. It will do, mum. But say, but I want to. I want to challenge. I'm trying to make something better than this next time, <laughs> aka worse, I guess. And she will just kind of. She will stir it into her tea like it's fucking honey. <laughs> and she will just start just sipping it on it casually. She will also uh, offer it to Silas, who probably looks at it like it's death. Silas just looks at it and just like he does that thing where his face like scrunches up and just goes please forever offer me that ever again <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about you and sullying food with literal tar but no absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> she would just casually drink it like it's just nobody's business uh, is before we oh, end uh, the scene oh by the way, everybody, uh, go ahead and go ahead and give me a long rest. Um, I mean, I, to be I'm fair, worried. I think we already all had a long rest because we had to remake our sheets. Oh, <laughs> easy point. Uh, but you might as well anyway, right? Um, I would like or... to spend half of my long rest. And by half of my long rest, I mean I would like to meditate before bed. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, I, I'm I am insane, and I I need mitigating factors. Um, I, okay, you you um, can you can attempt to meditate. Uh, go ahead and give me a wisdom saving throw, please. I I also wanted to say that um, if we don't want to, it's fine. But I thought we could end off with like evil being told he needs to step up the black tar a bit more. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. If not, then it's fine. I mean, what's gonna happen is funny anyways. He, he, My character will mention that to him. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Just wanted to make sure it was being mentioned. Also, we need we need token of Silas. How dare he not have one? True. I will I will get to working on that. Um, It's weird, because, I mean, like, I guess I could just base it off of just, like, a, another stat block in here somewhere. Um, And then just use that as the thing. So since he doesn't really have his own cheat. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, can do, I can do that for next week. Um, Thank you. 
Yeah, no problem. Uh, Sevi. Oh, okay. Yeah, roll up. Yeah, roll me that as well. The amount, and let me see what the. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's a total of what? <laughs> Thirteen. Just look over at Zevi, whose eyes start twitching in sleep. <laughs> it it um, wasn't thirteen. Zevi, give me another sanity save. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're we're gonna play a game of higher or lower. Save. Yeah, save. Ooh, yeah, no. Uh, you try. Wait, you try no, your no, best. No, 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 Hear me out. Do I have storytellers inspiration? You do actually. Yeah. You want to reroll that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, I'm broken. Hey, there you go. Okay, that's <laughs> higher. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, roll me a one d two. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna make all of these un unprivate for a sec. Okay. I just want everyone else to see the pain that I'm experiencing. <laughs> <laughs> So this is my guide thrall. Uh, this is my go. Oh, this is my first sanity save. This was my second sanity save, and now I'm rolling a D two. Five. Okay. Four. You reduce the um. Uh, you reduce uh the duration of your uh, long term insanity by two days. B by the way, Carly, and probably just so you know too, Josh, uh, guidance doesn't work on saves. No, but it's a. So what she's doing is meditation, which is technically an action. I know I had her do a save for it. No, oh, um, you mean an ability just check? Do a, yeah. Yeah, it should have been. It should have probably been an ability check. Yeah, yeah there, she was there's doing the resistance a meditation spell action. for. Yeah. Oh yeah. wait. Hmm. I have to do all ability checks. It doesn't matter. <gasps> oh <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, so if it's a save, you can't use guidance. If it's ability check, it's a disadvantage. Disadvantage! I forgot about that. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> hey, Carly, throw it off the window. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I've got more time to meditate, boys. <laughs> Okay. A week so, and a half, to be exact. Can um, I? While, <laughs> while, while Zevi is uh, trying and failing to meditate, uh, what is everyone else doing with a little with their downtime as they try to bed for the evening? <laughs> Ironically, <laughs> the fu I'm gonna flip my own D2 here. Okay. Okay. So, because my character is a nosy little bastard, he'd probably peek in a uh, Zevi and seeing her tr trying to meditate. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Can I make an argument? Due to the fact that I am monk, and my master taught me meditation techniques for very obvious reasons of my backstory. <laughs> right. Uh huh. Could I come in and notice her, and just go? Excuse me, the bird. Would you like? Are you trying to meditate? I uh, yes, I am. Oh. And he's just gonna walk in. Is like, would you like some company with that? My master. Sure. And, and she like. <laughs> oh. So like, pat a spot next to her on the bed. He he will take up the monk like this the super classic monk arms cross like the Zen monk meditation form immediately. <laughs> So copy him. Does that mean that I can have the roll at normal? Yeah, so this? could yes. I give her advantage yeah. in making yeah. it flat for okay. her and take the first roll for her and sure, I'll spend sure. my time helping her. Okay, so then I reduce it by two days with his help. Yes. Here we go. Oh, mm -hmm. she'll, she'll like, at the end of it, she'll like, after they've meditated and she feels a little bit better, she'll like, Put her head on his shoulder and say, thank you, I feel a little better, a little more at peace. Um, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you put his, your head on his shoulder, flushes <laughs> again, bright red. Um, of course, um, of course, I'm always happy to help. 
<laughs> oh my god, this poor kid. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, he lived on the street for most of his life, and then the other half of his life, he lived in the forest with an old monk. <laughs> I'm um, still not... <clears throat> oh. I'm still not gonna get over the, oh yeah, in my home, forced child labor at your age is normal. <laughs> Hey, my character would have killed for child labor. He would have had a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to... What's okay? Wait until you guys find out what I was raised by. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, uh, Atlas. Yo. Uh, while this is all happening, um, the small little like sending stone uh, that uh, Captain Dane would have given you. Uh, at some point, um, when you two would have, like, first met in, in order to keep in communications, um, would begin to glow. <clears throat> and you recognize the sound of his voice in your head as it says, Hey, um, <clears throat> could I borrow you for a moment? Sure. I'll be right there. Okay. I guess I'll head to the captain's quarters. Give a, give a knock on the door. He would come over and unlock it. Take a step <sighs> Everything well, alright? Good to see you, Atlas. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, make me a perception check. Alrighty. Twelve. Um, you know him well enough. Uh, this isn't one of his good days. <clears throat> I will. Is this happening before we uh, sleep? Yeah, this is like I would say it around like um, maybe ten, eleven o'clock at night, equivalent. I'm gonna send you a DM real quick. Yeah. Okay. The last time. I played a game where we ignored when the captain wasn't feeling well. Um, he woke up the next morning as a ghoul and we had to kill him. <laughs> I will give you 10 Canadian dollars, Josh, if you can guess who DM'd that game. I'm actually... I don't know. Dom. Oh, was Sounds that Dom? Like oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um... Dane then takes like a deep breath and just goes, <clears throat> "Thanks for that." Um, You're welcome. <sighs> um, it's a big day tomorrow, <clears throat> but according to the calculations offered to me by Avante, by the time we all wake up, we should actually be bordering on the entrance to the uh, <clears throat> to the wormhole that will spit us out onto the solar rail. The big test. First of many. If we can Are brave this one, we can brave them all. As I'll ever be, I think. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, if you're staring, I'll be there right behind you to help. <laughs> That's all I can really ask for. <clears throat> What do you think we're going to find there, Alice? At the very center of it all. Alice ponders that for a moment. Hmm. It's a very good question. For some, answers. For others, redemption. Perhaps a second chance. Third for others. Hard to say. Hopefully, though, a resolution to what my people went through. A resolution for everyone. Resolutions do sound pretty nice. He says he kind of like leans back against like you see that currently he's like there's like a bookshelf like behind him. He's currently like kind of pressed up against it. Um, 
And as you look over, you can kind of see that uh, Francois is currently on his desk, kind of like looking at him um, with like a bit of concern in his eyes. Um, and as he leans back, he just kind of like relaxes for a moment and just says, <sighs> Do you... Do you believe that men like us can get second chances or third chances? Atlas looks him over a moment. Son, I'm living proof of second chances. Well, I'll have to take your word for it, I guess. <clears throat> God, I'm just so tired. <sighs> I bet. <laughs> I can only imagine. He takes his, like, uh, more, uh, I guess, mechanical hand and kind of places it on your shoulder and says, um, we'll get there. Um, I have a feeling that, uh, well, you and I will uh, we'll find what we're looking for there. You for your people, and me for mine. Atlas nods and puts a hand on his shoulder and gives it a squeeze. Of course we will. I will see if I can find any methods to assist you more on our journey. Perhaps I'll remember some old tricks. <laughs> I heard you were, uh, well, something back in the day. <laughs> you find your footing again? How did it feel fighting those goblins? Quite honestly, felt like I was a muling newborn again. <laughs> Potential is there. Perhaps more so than in the past. But it's going to take some time. Well, I won't keep you any longer, Atlas. I just uh, wanted to get a. Uh good idea of how you were feeling before tomorrow morning. If you want, once you finish your rest, you can take over for Avante, and then once I'm feeling up to it, I'll, uh, I'll take it over from there. I do hope you have a good night. He says as he kind of like begins to like sit down on the edge of his bed and just kind of take his hat off, uh, place it on like the coat rack next to his bed. <sighs> um, and from there, uh, I'm going to pivot over to Tulsh again, briefly for a second. Mm. And as you two, um, you and Dawson are still playing cards. Uh, Dawson would have brought out a um, like a bottle of wine uh, and two mugs, and he's been he's been going at it for a little bit. And uh, after about I guess now at this point would have been your maybe ninth or tenth game. Uh, he kind of like lays down his hand and goes, <sighs> "What ails you, my friend?" I'm just. Uh... I'm just a little curious as to um, there's just a lot happening. <clears throat> I don't just 
just in this shit, but... <sighs> he kind of, like, looks out behind him at the uh, window. Towards the very quiet and tranquil-looking astral sea that you all are sailing aboard currently, or atop of. There is much to this well. I do not know much about your past, as you do not know much about mine. Whatever it is, I stand with you. Do not fret. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. It's just... In fact, that's I think that's actually the problem. He says he kind of like looks out the window. My problems were... You know, they were mine. Localized entirely to my being and... Well, I joined this ship to kind of... I don't know get the hell out, escape. But I didn't really realize it until we jumped out that, uh... uh is it all gone? <laughs> and not only that, it's the the problems I left behind. They're they're so insignificant now, aren't they? They're so far away. Uh, they are far away in body. In mind, they still are right behind us. Marching our every move. There is no clear answer as to how being far away can help you with your issues. It's not even sure if it works. We can only take it one day at a time. Be thankful for the days we are gifted. I want to be more grateful for the days that we have. Um, to when I was privateering, it was so easy to just lose track of the days, drinking, pouring, gambling, cheating. I recall. <laughs> Getting into fights, having you get me out, it's just... <sighs> we stand on the can... precipice of something else. I know what you mean. Yeah. An uncertain next step. Do you think we can make a difference out there? In a sea this big? You... You are like the largest rock thrown in any pond. You will make waves. I am sure of it. I am not sure what I am to do. I am not even certain why I am here. <laughs> Maybe not, but according to what you told me, it's, uh... Well, I don't envy your undertaking. I know not why I am guided here. I don't know what my grand part is to partake in Veta's great vision. But I will serve it and will do my duty fit. <clears throat> Perhaps you do not need a cause. I'd go crazy without a cause. Or rather... I know what my life was like when I didn't have a cause. I kind of want it to be different this time, I think. There are plenty of good people on the ship. So far, at least. <laughs> Hopefully that will not change. And a bunch of layabouts, too. He says he like, pours another drink with a smirk on his face. <sighs> nah, they're, they're good. Don't tell him I said that, though. I would not tell many people of the things they you say about them. <laughs> Well, to be fair, most of them are kind of bad. He says, he, as he, like, uh, pours you another glass as well. I have broken up in the fights with you to know I should keep my mouth shut about the <laughs> And Many I of them start because I am not there. The future. That's also true. But... What do you say? One more game before bed. <laughs> ah... If we were playing for money, I think you would have to be taking up extra shifts on the ship. 
<laughs> yeah, probably. <sighs> what can I say? It's hard to tell if you're bluffing if I can't see your expression. He says as he, like, begins to, like, uh, fold the cards into themselves. <laughs> ah, no one else is up, I don't believe. At the very least, going to bed. Hmm. I'll take, take it, it off, off for the last game. <laughs> Hell yeah. And uh, as he begins to dole out the cards, we are going to pivot. Um, let's see. Uh, Neon. Oh, yeah. Um, at some point, uh, you find yourself, um, either, you know, in the midst of whatever you think Neon would be doing at this time to find Silas kind of, like, idly standing near one of the windows just looking out up at the, uh, one of the sails on the side. I would say he's standing probably, like, right here. Mm -hmm. Um, looking out towards, like, this sail over here. Something... <laughs> is there a problem, though? What's wrong? Not really a problem. It's just, uh... <laughs> it feels good to be out, right? I mean... Isn't it kind of, like, I don't know, scary, exciting? I feel like I'm just jittery and shaky the cat oh, decided it's... to rub up against the uh, <laughs> plug in and I'm oh. bluffing oh no it's not a standable <clears throat> yeah it was weird because I heard like everything up until until you said you'll let Atlas go I was like what the hell oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um <laughs> don't worry I will I will pay it back to that conversation um and uh, once I'm once I'm uh, done with this particular scene. Um, yeah, sure, no worries. Neon, what were you gonna say? Um, uh, uh I kind of lost my train of thought. Sorry. No, it's okay. He mentioned being jittery. If that mm -hmm. helps. Yeah, thank you. Um, well, that's that's kind of how it is when you have a first taste of freedom for a long time and you're not under someone's thumb for the first time. How true. How true. Uh, you both understand that feeling quite extensively. Hmm. Our dads are gonna be so pissed. I mean, so what if I am? Uh, we deserve to be happy? And. Yeah. They've deserved to fuck themselves, but you know, I don't want to be that mean. <laughs> no, no, you're definitely right. They do deserve to go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, after what Zevi said, I'm a little bit worried. What? What she said about your dad? Ah, uh, she mentioned that I. It, it's kind of a very TLDR, is that I don't. My wings can only carry me so far. I mean. Not to add more par paranoia to your, uh, well, you're already, uh, well, teeming to burst amount, but, I mean, is she really that wrong? I made mean, wings. he made a lot of things. I mean, yours actually made you, though. But, uh... Hey, I know I give you a lot of shit, but... I just want you to know that... If he does try anything... I'll, um... I'll be right there to back you up, you know that? I mean... That's why we're here together, aren't we? That's kind of the deal that we made. It, True. But it's not just about that. It's also like, if if your dad tries to get over to you, I will shove this guitar down his throat. <laughs> Even though that might not be possible, I would at least give the attempt. My 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 legend that my legendary death will go down history. <laughs> He's 
never been the type to be told no, so, uh... It'd be interesting to see, at least, you know? After uh, me, he's still... To this day, he still scares the fire out of me. I mean, same here. With my own... We're both really scared, mutually. It's just, it comes with the territory of how... They are. They don't understand us. I don't think they ever will, but... I'm just sorry that I'm not sure if yours will get the chance to. Who knows? Maybe they'll hear the song and all this will change for us. That's the best thing I can hope for. We. That's the best thing we can hope for. We're in this together, mate. <laughs> uh, she'll, that. she'll get up and, like, give him a hug. Oh, okay. Look. <laughs> don't. Don't. Shut up. Me. Shut up. Shut no. up. Give me a hug. Right. Give me a hug. <sighs> and he, 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 he relents <laughs> and wraps his arms around around you and just. <sighs> Thank you for this. I'm not a massive asshole, am I? I don't think so. Yeah, I just feel like whenever I talk to these people here, I just feel like I come up as the biggest asshole. I can't tell if it's just who I am or it's just fucking mechanics grating on me that badly. I can't have a decent, empathetic conversation anymore. You want my advice? You know, I appreciate take it. From it. A, take it from a devil then. You know. Well, knows his way around talking to folk. Um, instead of, well, you know, doing what programming dictates would be the most efficient way to talk to folk being, you know, just getting yourself out there, just take a moment to listen, um, see what they need, uh, what interests them, what drives them. And as you listen to these little talking points here and there, you know, try to build off of that. Build off of what, um, uh, build off of what they're saying, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's how I was able to make some good deals. That's how I made a deal with you, wasn't it? Nah, it's just your pretty face. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> It is very pretty, isn't it? He kind of like, like takes his fingers and like traces them along his chin for a moment and smiles. <sighs> anyway, uh, I think I'm going to retire into the shades for an evening. I'm kind of tired. If you take the blankets again, I swear to God, I'll throw you out this shit myself. I'm not going to take the blankets. I'm just going to re retire to the shades. That's all. Hmm. Uh, I want to say that Neon stays up for an extra hour or two working on something. Okay. Uh, right. Tinker's tool something. I'm not going to say yeah. what it is, but you know what make it me, is. Make me a private... Yeah, yeah. Make me a private Tinker's tool. How do I do that? And... Um... So if you go to the chat bar, you'll see, uh... Like, oh, like a little GM thing role. above, like, where you can type stuff. Yep, make a private chat bar. Uh, and while you do that... Ooh! Ooh. Uh... Yeah, uh, uh, give me a DM on what you were working on real quick so I can get an idea of, like... It I think I remember, but just... Yeah, but, yeah, just give me, uh, give me, like, a quick little blurb on what you're working on to see, like, how long that would take with that role specifically. <clears throat> and while you're doing that, uh, Atlas, we're gonna pivot back to you. Alright. Um, so what was the last thing you heard? Or you said you heard everything? Yeah, I... I heard that uh, he wasn't going to keep me any longer. Yeah. As he sits down, though, he's going to, like, take his hat off and, like, put it onto the, um, uh, the kind of, like, coat rack next to him. Or next to his bed, like, near the nightstand. <sighs> Just to warn you, Atlas, uh... I do think that what we find there, <clears throat> I 
think it's going to have more of a connection to the Shattered Sisters and, well, everything in regards to both your world and mine. <clears throat> I just wonder if we're going to be ready to see everything to, you know, everything out there. Hmm. An interesting thought to digest upon for the evening. I'm sure when the time comes, we'll be ready. so too I'm hoping that this journey is more than just about getting to the center I kind of just want on top of that obviously I do want to you know see that before the end but I think in the meantime I kind of just want to see what else this universe has in store you know what other kinds of interesting people are there out there well, I'm sure we're going to meet plenty of characters. <laughs> well. <laughs> if your sleep yes, gets interrupted, if your sleep gets interrupted again, go see Dame Roselia. She will help. Uh, you have to tell me twice. <laughs> he says, he like, as he like kind of smirks to himself at that and like kind of begins to like lay back on Right next head. door. Don't worry. <laughs> you you did put the sound perfect doors that I, or on the walls that I requested. Yes, of course. Good. I don't want her to hear that. He says he begins to like roll over onto his side. <laughs> I think it's your first mate here you have to worry about snitching on me, he says, pointing over at Francois. Oh, Francois will take my secrets to the grave. <laughs> Look at him. Such a good cat. And he says, he like, as Francois kind of like jumps down from the table and then jumps up onto the bed with him. <laughs> Curls Very up like well. near his feet. <laughs> I'll leave you, you to your bad. rest. Tomorrow's a big day. <laughs> Thanks, Atlas. Anytime. I'll close the door and just head to my room. Okay. All right. So, I think from there, that'll lead us to the first thing in the morning where. Do I finish my thingy or no? Yes, you do. All right. I would I would put it outside their door before they wake up. I imagine Lux did Lux pass out in Leffy's room in Zeffy's room while they're meditating. I think, I think yeah, I think I think they <laughs> meditated for such a long time that they just kinda like passed out like mid meditation. Well, I do not require sleep. Oh, okay. So I would let him sleep in my bed and I would rest elsewhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm being intentionally vague. <laughs> we figured. <laughs> I am one of those sleepless guys, you know? There's many of them in D&D. &D. Yeah! Oh, yeah, Atlas doesn't need sleep either. <laughs> well, why I give him a bedroom now? <laughs> uh, Neon is snoring and passed out Ooh. the fuck to sleep. <laughs> I, think it, I, I like to think Atlas probably fakes fake sleeps for the four hours. Just for some semblance of normality. Um, no. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> continue, continue. But for the other four hours, he he uh, spends journaling. Hmm. Among other things, not just four hours Lex, of straight journaling. That'd be ridiculous. 
Lex is a human, right? As far as you're aware. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. You passing out in my room <laughs> really fucks up my ability to take off my mask for the night, and that's messed <laughs> up. <laughs> Pick him up and kick him out. <laughs> I mean, you can. I I would say that she, like, sneaks moments where she hears him snore to, like, lift it up and, like, scratch under her, her mask, her, like, face of hair. <laughs> like, just brief moments of, like... <laughs> <laughs> just, that's great. My character falls asleep because he's meditating and fucks up. <laughs> Actually, you know, let me flip a coin. Okay, I'm gonna flip a coin if it's a, like, I'm gonna roll a d2. If it's a one, when you wake up, I'm not wearing a mask. If it's a two, um, you wake up and I'm wearing a mask. Oh. Oh, what do I see? <laughs> let me DM you real quick. <laughs> I have a maskless picture somewhere. Neat. <laughs> um, would you have gotten up at all in the middle of the night, Sevi? Oh yeah, I'm wandering around. Wandering around the ship or just your room? Probably a little bit of both. Okay. Here is a here's a picture of my face, Lux. Ah oh, damn. Oh, hi. Carry on, Josh. Um, okay. Uh... Josh probably falls out of his fucking chair if he sees someone come in without his mask on. <laughs> uh, Sevi. Yeah. As you open your door, you notice something at the foot of your door. Is it big enough that I stub my toe on it? Yes. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Did you forget to use her stick? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I forgot my stick, my bad. <laughs> um, but you find a little gift wrap box at your uh, at your front door. I will pick it up and open it. Hopefully okay. with my mask on. Yeah, and there's a little uh it's it's wrapped up nicely. Um and uh you notice a lot of things about this at first. Um you notice that there are lots of like it, it appears to be a completely metallic box um and uh so zevi um or rather carly uh you're familiar with fidget toys right <laughs> yeah i'm neurodivergent <laughs> yes so this is this is something a, a something of an equivalent um there are bits that are uh, that are, um, protruding bumps, uh, basically in the form of grail, uh, throughout different bits and portions of this, um, this box. Um, and as you begin to fidget around and feel it, you, you hear, like, a series of clicks as it begins to, um, whir and open. Um, and, uh, written... In Braille is this message. Uh, I will put it in your solo channel. Um. Uh, Josh, while you're doing that, question for you. Sure. So, for the sake of like, I I I, I did see the mask off. Mm -hmm. What would be the role if I wanted my character to pretend he was still asleep when he saw that? <laughs> uh, deception. Oh, goody. He's not good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I make all my checks at disadvantage! <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> I think you're good. Sorry. I, okay, so I, I when you I, I I know how I'll play that off once we're you're done your thing <laughs> when he wakes up and sees it. She'll she'll see it and smile and uh, 
make a note to to have that conversation later. As soon um, as she's done putting the kid back to his room. Yeah, and as as you as you clicked on a few of the buttons on the interior, um, you notice that it begins to play a uh, a lullaby to you. Oh. It is a very soft, gentle um, tune with a with a rhythm with a rhythm guitar uh, acoustic specifically how sweet okay out of character thank you aries <laughs> okay <laughs> i i hope you like it i should give it to you for a reason you can talk to her about it later if you want to yeah yeah well i so uh this is weird but i actually plan to go talk to like neon once her head cleared so this is just you know more of an excuse Okay, well, Lux, how you playing off that deception check? He just goes, Blimey, Mom! That's... Uh, wow! Woo. What? What? <laughs> What's the sorry? I just, I don't know why you're wearing the mask, Mom. Did... Uh, what, what do you mean? It's because I do not want others to see my face. But you're one of the jammiest bits of jam I've seen, Mom! Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my God. While you guys were gone, uh, this is what we were subjected to. Subjected to. I I'm going to take that as a compliment, so I appreciate it. Um let's get you back to your room. I have uh I I have a lady to see. Oh, really? And I'll <laughs> begin to put my mask back on. <laughs> um, I have art for you, Carly. Oh, you do. I do. Uh, here I'm I'm also posting it to your player channel. Um. Oh wait, there is one more thing I will say to uh, Plus. Um, I don't always wear the mask. I do it. Um, just in large groups. I'm, I'm more comfortable showing myself yeah. in smaller settings around one or two people. Around larger groups, like a ship full of strangers, I'm just more comfortable like this. Uh, I, oh, okay. Uh, I wouldn't insight that if I were you. <laughs> yeah, probably <laughs> is what he would do. I'm not the best at insight, but I'm okay. Okay, well, you're at disadvantage, I know. <laughs> you know, let me let me roll twice, see what happens. Oh, I rolled an at oh, twenty. So... God. <laughs> oh, I caught whatever that was. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> um, there's you know more. She, she's cherry picking her words a little bit. Lux will nod knowingly. <laughs> Save a motor map. I, I, it's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's we, like we all normal. have secrets to keep. I'm normally good at deception too. I have proficiency in everything. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a monk with a wisdom score. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how tragic. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna follow Lux back. To his room. Where Neon's, well, where Neon's staying. Which is next to his room. <laughs> Perfect. Nice and bright and early, and I'm going knocking on doors. Lux <laughs> enters his room and snuggles down in his sack of potatoes. <laughs> I love that for him. <laughs> um, oh, wait. No, wait. Will Silas get the door or Neon? I think I think Neon would push Silas to get it. Oh. <sighs> All right. Uh, is is this in the first thing in the morning or? Yeah, I would say we. You know, I took a bit to walk because Lux had to keep pace with me <laughs> instead of the other way around. Okay, Sammy. Right. The first thing you're greeted to at the beginning of the morning is um. Silas uh, opening the door um, shirtless, and he just kind of like is just propped up against the uh, the 
basically like the frame of the door and just goes, Oh, Zevi. Hey, how's it going? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. Not really. You are just my food. precious beauty sleep. Huh? <laughs> oh, only half. And he says he like looks <laughs> down at his trousers. <laughs> uh I'm not gonna lie, I think Neon would say it's not that impressive. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Please. You and she's dying. I think he just killed her Ares. <laughs> it was the instant adaptation of my accent that was cute. I didn't mean to use your accent. I meant to say it. it's not that impressive. Okay. I apologize. It's okay. You'll catch me in a southern draw by mistake later. So like, you know, it'll happen. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think Neon would get out of bed at that point, and you see that she has some dark bags under her eyes. She didn't see. Oh, you the fuck! I can't. You can't see. Uh, she <laughs> she's wobbling a little bit, uh, and she like kind of like scoots <laughs> Silas over, bumping into him. <laughs> Fine, I'll put on a shirt. <laughs> now, now that I'm around both of them, I see the cogs again, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ignore them. Well. I'll follow them for a second with my eyes, and then... <laughs> uh, should I put my, uh, glasses on? Or is if my eyes fooling me out again? Like... I've come. Uh, fuck you. Now you got me doing it again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said you would! I've calmed down a little. Um, I'm sorry for my reaction. Uh, it... Uh... I'm not quite as accustomed as I used to be. My, I'm gonna step in. My father, not my real father, but my, I guess you could call him adopted father, used to be very good at silent voices when they got loud. I am not, I am not so good without him. Hmm. That. I understand that, sweetheart, and that's why I kind of tried to make that little music box for you. I thought, like, even though the voices still remain, hopefully that can at least drown them out a little bit. Um, I'm trying to get used to, to the kind of manners of communication that comes to those from different areas, because of where I come from, it's a bit more rigid, I gotta say, and a bit more do your work or just don't care about, you know, how this feel when there's efficiency and other things at hand. It's it's a learning curve, but I'm working on it. You are not from this plane. I am not at all. Neither am I. We have that in common. Where are you from then, if you don't mind my asking? If it's too much and I don't I am not gonna cry. Actually, um I think she'll take off her mask. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, hang on. You're gonna get a picture, real quick. Uh, right. Since I already since I already know what she looks like, uh, Silas is gonna turn and like see this happen and go, "Whoa, <laughs> wait, hold on." <laughs> neon, Neon will definitely push now, Silas out of the way. Now, why do you gotta wear? gotta wear all that scary headdress bullshittery when? Look at you. Hey, cowboy! I already gave her the gift. Oh, I called dibs first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he rolls his I eyes. I don't know why. The, um, I nope. think I think the child called me Jam. I don't know what this means. You, you just hear from the <laughs> room over. I told you you were the jammiest gem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just he just thinks you're real pretty, like. Oh, okay. What oh. is it with mortals and their need to call things weird? Colloquialism, colloquialisms. <laughs> I, I am not sure. I am, um, I am from the Shadowfell. Uh, I'm from Mechanus, actually. I do not know if you know what that place is. Uh, I do not know. Oh, that's I, good. Uh, it's not a great place. <laughs> I remember. Uh. Perhaps 200 years ago, I came to the Material Plane. Is that correct, Josh? Yeah, it was about 200 years yeah, ago, right? Around 200, I'd say. 
And um, I too remember the growing pains of um, an entirely new plane of people. And uh, trust me, it gets easier with time. The oil here is not as good as back home, but I'm getting used to it. I... I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it's... Uh, basically all... I, I don't really know... I, like, like, can I see, like, her eyes are shifting to looking at different things and talking about the gears? Can I assume that she's still seeing them? I, I Since I've removed my mask, you can, you can definitely see, like, my eyes moving in their sockets. Uh, it's hard to tell what I'm looking at because my eyes are completely white. Um, mm -hmm. But, like, you know, you can see that they're moving, at least. Uh, I assume you're still seeing the quote-unquote machines that you're talking about. Yeah, it's, that's kind of reminiscent of my home. That's, uh, we're probably the most lawful, as lawful as you can get uh, when it comes to the planes, as well as just machines or half the population. Yes, I do still see them, but um, I am not uh, unaccustomed to weird visions, so I would not I would not worry about me. Did you see anything else? Like anything specific? Like a man? I, I no. I, I did hear the Mercury man mentioned. I saw creatures. Um one looked like and she's like closing her eyes trying to like recall. One looked like a, a golden eyeball with wings, and one looked perhaps like a shield. Um, also with wings and um, and some kind of um, she like uh, like a like a like the music box you gave me almost but with a cog in the center and it had eyes and arms and feet <laughs> oh yeah those are the normal denizens of of home yeah they're, they're just kind of all about here and there you get used they, to it they were the ones normally my voices are detached I hear I don't see people telling me things but when I was with you for the first time in perhaps ever um, I saw these creatures they were whispering voices and I heard lots of overlapping words or premonitions but the only thing that I could make out was what I said to you Yeah, that... Why do you keep getting visions about people's dads? Um... Oh, parents, I mean parents, sorry. Keep forgetting that... Eh. Perhaps it is because uh, for a lot of people, parents are important to them. They, they play a role in their life. But I... Yeah, it's, it's complicated, but uh... If you had a vision about the man I call my father, perhaps you'd lose sleep for years. Who knows? I mean... I don't really think visions really suit me that well, depending on everything that I am and where I'm from, so... Usually that kind of... I, I'm not gonna lie, if you said any of this back home, people would just think that you went crazy. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just say, stating that... It's not likely that this would happen to me, and I... I'm not trying to be rude about that. You would not take it well. Let's just say that. At yeah. At the very least. Well, I mean, you saw... Um, and then I, I, like, point to Silas. You saw his reaction when you saw what was on my chest? I don't really entirely know what that is. It looks interesting. Neither I've... do I. Uh, all I know is when it appeared on my body, I began to hear things. I mean... Silas doll, do you want to explain to her a little bit of what she has? Would you be so kind? Uh, well, I mean, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we just, you know, start claiming that I know things, I know nothing. But I can give you guesses as to what I think it could be. Um, so, judging from, well, whatever sensation I was feeling from that thing, it's definitely void present. Um... Which makes you void marked. Now, the specifics is for your mark. I can't really get into detail. I have no idea myself. However, um, 
the best thing that I can say is that whatever that thing is in your chest has to be some sort of mm, relic. Really old one, too. By the, by the way that it uh, connects to the dead, or rather to, you know, the voices of those not here. Whatever voices that are, you know, present. They often say with um, great power comes great sacrifice. I have sacrificed pieces of my sanity for pieces of premonitions. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess the best that we can do is just hope that it was a worthwhile trade. Can you call it a trade if I was not given a choice? Good point. Uh, I guess this is a lot of words for me to say that um, I'm, I'm sorry if I have af made you afraid. Um, and I, I know what it's like to feel in an unfamiliar land. It was me, but 200 years ago. And um, you didn't owe me an apology, but I ap appreciate the gesture nonetheless. Well, you're putting yourself a lot out there for other people. If there's something you want to know about me or us, I don't really mind sharing anything. I, I know that I've been a little bit of a piece of shit to people, but if, if I need to open up a little bit so you can feel more comfortable or anything like that, I don't That's really mind. It's probably because your heart is made of tin cans. <laughs> Only my back is, not my heart. That thing's still alright, as far as I know. As far as you know. <laughs> he says, like, wiggling his eyebrows. Wow. Uh, you kind of, like, face pumps at that a little bit. <laughs> so, is, you, you've revealed a lot about, you know, yourself. What, what do you want to know about me? What can I answer? If you want to ask anything. Ask. Fuck. I almost went into Southern again. <laughs> it's okay. I feel like um, I spent a lot of time prying into things that people may not want me to know. Um, I, I do not care of your past or your present even, uh, but know that if you want a friend, uh, you have one. A friend? I was say, eh, 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 I don't want to that. You got a friend in me! <laughs> you mean just friends? I mean... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> sweetheart, I don't mind being friends. I, I don't really mind. But... <laughs> uh, does it, does, does, does Zevi look uncomfortable with the amount of just, like, Nicknames both Silas and Neon just use casually. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, I feel like it's hard to gauge someone's expression when they don't have irises. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, maybe a little uncomfortable. Also, like, if. Uh, I know that I can sometimes talk faster than I can think about what I say, so you can tell me to shut up if need be. That's what friends are for, I guess. That's what that's what I have Silas here for. That's true. I've always been the more uh, charismatic faces operation. Oh, She's really? Always been the nah. Oh, yes, absolutely. You two share a bed, but you are not together. Uh, that is correct. Yes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. We've had an interesting few years together. We didn't exactly choose it by force. Historians will call us the best of roommates. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Um, I'm just going to say because my character has been listening in this whole time and he's a nosy fuck. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> At this point, he would just go, Oh, you're a great chuckaboos! <laughs> that, I don't understand what that means. But, like... Let him oh. out! Oh, it was a surprise, Tony. So, you shared a room. Yes. And a bed. Where yes. he is mostly undressed. 
Yes. You're you're following along so far. <laughs> and Ham you are and you are not lovers. That no. is also correct, yes. We are Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I am fairly positive, yes. Oh no. <laughs> I have to roll it twice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, to take the worst of the two? Okay. Yeah. Well, we need to both. Do we need to both roll? <laughs> oh, uh. I guess technically, hold on. Uh. Yeah, which. Hmm. I'm not telling you which one he is rolling. Mm hmm. Interesting, okay. Either way, both of them are really hard to read, Zibby. <laughs> You're talking to two bards. <laughs> You're not convinced, Zevi. You're not convinced. <laughs> she's going to raise her eye- Like, she's gonna do that thing where she, like, scrunches both her eyebrows towards her nose, like, and you can actually see her face, like, she's just looking with, like, like, skepticism. Like, why- why would I ever date his ugly mug? Oh, please. Now you're just lying to yourself. And to Zevi. You just made a friend, and you're lying to her. Wow, look at you go. <laughs> oh, I'm the one lying to her. Wow, like you're the one who's the charismatic between the both of us. I, I uh, think he's quite handsome, do you not? Yeah, do you not? <laughs> <laughs> Can you say him? I mean, he's a he's a devil. It's kind of a genetic thing. Oh wow! So you're saying devils are just predisposed to being handsome? That's why they call it handsome devil. <laughs> that was out of character, I, by the way. I, I, oh oh oh! He was about to say that he likes her. <laughs> um, yeah, I she will say it in character, but I I use my regular. Voice. Give me a second. Uh, is that not why? The expression handsome devil exists. And see, she gets it. She completely understands. And why would I feed into your ego when you already have enough? Ah, you can never give a devil too much ego. We eat it like soup. But like you eat soup. Yes. <laughs> uh, it, dep just... it depends. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, I will leave you to to whatever it is that not lovers do. Um, I'm not gonna lie, they will probably just start bicking with each other now, and it looks like they will not stop for a little while. As Neon will keep complaining about him. <laughs> and she's gonna, like, take her mask and, like, hold it over her face, because she cannot, like, get out of the room fast enough to <laughs> properly put it on her face. <laughs> um okay in the meantime quick pause here um at this point uh dane would be up in adam um and uh pretty much like as zevi is leaving the room um you can hear matara's voice over the uh basically what's the equivalent of like a um of an intercom system of like magic mouths throughout the ship um, going off all at once, basically saying, <sighs> All right, everybody, um, we are approaching the Nexus Gate to the first solar rail. If anyone who would like to can meet us all at the, uh, top deck of the ship, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Zoomies, yeah, I'll make my way we'll get up and head up there. <laughs> I'll walk walk over. Um, I'm trying to keep pace with Lux. He'd slow down if he saw you come up with him. <laughs> oh, is that uh, Talsh? I'm gonna yes. point. Uh, t oh, good yeah, morning. It, it I, is. I trust. Sorry. It, he's like, it is, and he's just gonna look up. Hey, what do you look like under your mask, Mister? <laughs> <laughs> I 
do not see where you find the need to know. Uh, he is simply cur curious. The child fell asleep in my room and woke up. I was not wearing my mask. He is, uh... <laughs> you... No one needs to see what is under this mask. My god, I'm just right. How much of a shit disturber is Lux? <laughs> okay, I, I DM. Hmm. So, I see wolves around Lux. Yes. I see cogs around Neon. Now that we are standing next to Tulsh, do I see anything different? Sanity saving throw. And because you are under the effects of a madness already, it is a disadvantage. I don't know what you would see around Tulsh. I actually have an idea. We're about to find out. It is at disadvantage. It is at disadvantage. Now, this is a check that I want to get a low number for, so it's fine. Nine. Okay. Uh, one second. <laughs> I will say, though, as my character looks over at your character, he goes, uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, yes, he looks over at your character. He just go up there and looks at you. And goes, "What? What's up there? You fly rink under there or something?" Oh God, not again! <laughs> if I had to guess, probably. Really? Perhaps. Do, do you shave or is it natural? <laughs> okay. Natural. <laughs> With what I just got in mind. Zevi's gonna walk up to you, Telsh, and like grab your ar arm, like gently, so that you'll stay put, and then start squatting behind your head, like as if you were trying to like get rid of a bug or or something. Like she's just trying to like swat behind you. What? What are you doing? Uh. <laughs> you, you all right? What do you see? Um, you are surrounded by bugs, mosquitoes, uh, flies, big, ugly bugs. Uh, creatures. With a heart, and then I'm gonna point to Neon. I see cogs. With him, I see dogs. With you, bugs. Why bugs? But I thought they were space wolves. No, they were regular wolves. <laughs> yeah, but we're in space, so that makes them space wolves. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You don't need to give me an explanation. It is fine. I um, I suffered a recent bout of madness, and um, I have a feeling I will be hallucinating for the foreseeable future. All is fine. Uh, I am blessed by the goddess of afflictions. Perhaps that is why you see bugs. Why would the goddess of affliction have bugs? Afflictions of sickness. Curses, curses, anything in between. She what? rules over the domain between life and death. And the man with a fever and a hacking cough does not know if he will live till tomorrow. I'm not awake enough for this. If you need me, I'm gonna go grab some black tar to drink heavily. Why did you insist on specifying that? <laughs> <laughs> that I wanna say. Neon <laughs> will give the peace sign and walk over oh, to the oh, boiler oh. room to go grab some black tar. Art and just shove it into a water skin. Okay. I, uh, in um, session art. Josh, would you this. need me to <coughs> roll deception for that? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just asking if you think I would have to. Listen, I'm not inciting anything. I could try, because I would try, but, you know... Oh. <laughs> Very cool, thank you. I mean, it's not a bad roll. 
Oh, failed by one. Oof. Big oof. You, you know what? I'm My gonna... character's just gonna, like, tip, go, go up on his tippy toes, and he's just gonna whisper into Zevi's ear. I think he's a bit embarrassed because he's flight rink under the mask. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to where the captain's at. <clears throat> Not worry about the bugs. He's made his way to the, um, to the uh, front of the uh, wheel. Atlas will take a look at what's in front of him. Mm -hmm. I'll just go, hmm. Well, isn't that a sight? <laughs> ah, it sure is. Look at it. The Nexus Way game. One of, well, countless as, well, as countless many as we can, uh, find. <clears throat> Take a good long look, everybody. Every time we go through a system, we're going to be looking for one of these. Blimey! <laughs> one of these is the uh, surefire way to get us to, well, basically to spit us right out into the solar rail. The solar rail is uh, basically a one-way trip from uh, one warp gate to the next. Each time we exit one, we're going to have to find another. And it'll just go that way further and further until we reach the center of the universe. However long that takes. From, well... Judging from calculations of, well, uh, astronomers like Avante and diviners and all the other kinds of people that we've been able to kind of accumulate over this uh, time together, if we were to make a straight shot without any interruptions whatsoever in a perfect ideal world, from where we are to the center is going to be about a two years trip, roughly. But that's, again, with no interruptions whatsoever. So I would say mm, probably better to put it closer to the maybe three or four year timetable. Which, to I know to a lot of you, more longer life species, species are going to be, uh, well, uh, here and gone in the blink of an eye, but... To a shorter race, folk. It's a bit of a commitment. But. I hope regardless. I hope to see you all. Well. With me all the way to the end. You hear that, Lux? You'll be a man by the time we're done with this. Cool. He's, he's, he's 12 to 14, right? 12 to 14. So. Shit, he might be. Yeah, he might be fucking like. 18 by the time the 17 18 or he could be 15 he doesn't know his own age <laughs> that's so, true 12 to 14 Neon... is not even an accurate guess that is just what he says to people <laughs> that's true that's neon does look human by the way at first glance that's a good point besides of course uh uh she, she looks human but the only one who might have a different idea is definitely uh lux and that's about it Everyone else can probably assume that she's just in her early 20s human. Before we go into this nexus, Atlas will walk over towards the captain, put his hand on his shoulder again, and go, Remember, anything worth doing in life has risk. I'm going to guidance him. Okay. Uh, I know. Uh, if we're okay, a bardic inspiration to the captain. Bardic inspiration. Okay, so we've got bardic inspiration. We've got guidance. Okay. Uh, okay. How how I inspire him is that I call him hot, and that he's got this. <laughs> you got this, sweet cheeks. <laughs> <sighs> what a lovely crew I have in my back. <laughs> um, and he's going to, with a newfound confidence, place both of his hands on the wheel. He's going to uh, take a handle onto the warp lever of the ship and just crank it forward hard. And he is going to warp the ship directly through the Nexus. Uh, and now I'm going to have him make a space vehicle check um, with the extra rolls. Um, I will roll the D4 and the D... Is it, is it a D6 at your level currently? Yes, D6. Okay. Yeah. Just privately. <laughs> Okay. 
Can we see what he gets after you tell us the conclusion? Why are you, are you rolling so much? Uh, one, okay, one for the check, one for the d4, one for the d6. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. As the warp goes through, space begins to bleed around all of you as you are tunnel visioned into a pinpoint. Um, the rest of the sky appearing black as the light begins to just fade. Um, all any of you can see is just yourselves, your comrades, the ship at your feet, and just a pinprick of light in the far, far distance. Um, and as the very stars begin to bend and warp, and you watch as there is just a trail of starlight leading now from this little pinprick that is slowly getting bigger and bigger around to all of you. You watch as stars, comets, um, and just other forms of space matter begin to blip past you um, at rapid speeds um, as you find yourselves getting uh, shunted out uh, from the other end of the Nexus. And suddenly below you, you see... Uh, one second. Um, yeah, yeah, one moment, please, while I scroll back up for something. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Go ahead and post this in session as well. You find Ooh. yourselves in what looks to be a um, a light blue track of light, um, leading through the cosmos itself, um, leading through what looks to be uh, various, almost mountainous ranges of cosmic gas. Um, and as you are following what looks to be this bright, um, uh, just iridescent light of almost like a river through the sky, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and bring you all to this map. I can't see anything. Yep, gonna fix that real quick. Turn token vision off. There we go. Can everyone see now? Yes. I do okay. not have a token with vision in this scene. Uh, we turned the token now. vision off, so you shouldn't need it. You uh, might have to refresh. Yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm good. Okay. I will direct your attentions to this token up here. This little blue, lovely token of the Star Callers Jolly Roger is uh, indicative of your all's position currently 
within the Akirian spiral, um, the Akirian spiral being uh, essentially just the equivalent of this galaxy, um, each line representing a segment of the solar rail, and each circle representing a solar system in which you will be spat out upon upon reaching the end of your current line. Um, you all are currently in the uh, ninth outermost ring. Um, and that would bring you guys, as you enter for the first time, roughly... One second. Right here. Okay. While traveling on the solar rail, you travel at roughly a thousand light years per day. Um, reaching from one end to the next. Uh, for example, getting to this end of the solar rail will take 11 days. Um, so. If anyone has any amount of downtime, and we will also be in, uh, going over potential encounter rates um, while sure. traveling aboard the uh, um, ship. Yep. So, while uh, traveling through the solar rail, even though you are going at incredibly fast speeds, in terms of perception, it looks like you're simply sailing, and things are just speeding by, like, quickly <sighs> around you. Anything else so that I is find... on the rail with you, or going in the opposite direction of you, is still moving at the same pace. So, question sure. while we're on this. Um, yes. Because uh, this is obviously a spaceship and not an actual sailboat. Does it still have a crow's nest? It does, actually. So, Lux is at the top of that all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, what were you going to say, Carly? Oh, I was going to make a really bad joke, but the timing is gone now. It's fine. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because you said, like, it looks like blah, 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 and I was going to say, I find the word looks here to be kind of ableist, and it's really oh. fucked up, Josh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> See, my problem is I watch the old Pinking the Brain show, and there's an episode where they're in a, in a ship, and they use a conch shell to, like, go into the submarine because they can only make left turns, and that's what this map looks like, is we're just trying to get there through left turns. <laughs> Cosmic NASCAR, baby. Yeah. Cosmic NASCAR. We can only Let's turn go. the ship left. It's going to be a very long a journey that would have taken a week. will take now three years. Because <laughs> if we just went straight. <laughs> well, here's the thing. If you guys went straight, you would never get there because there's no solar rail. I know. It's just the gag of it, though, right? It's like, it's... Yeah. <laughs> true, true. DM. Hmm. If I'm looking at the captain, what's around him? I'm used. I'm gonna. I'm gonna milk these hallucinations for as long as I got them, baby. I got. I got a little insanity, and I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get a lot of playtime out of it. I'm gonna go. I would crazy. like to remind you that I am right next to the captain. Ooh, that's true. That's a good. Th Actually, yeah, you see nothing because Atlas is next to him. It's just like doing heroin. I keep saying it's gonna be fine after each hit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, question though. Uh, so, uh, Josh, uh, mm -hmm. is there a designated person in the crow's nest? Like, do they have like? No. Their... No. 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 There is no designated person in the crow's nest. So, if if Lux would like to take that position, he can. That would make the most sense, since I am the perception man. He is the perception. Man. Okay. Uh, I am. All right. Hmm. What do I see around Avante? <laughs> um. Wait, I just thought of something. What do you see around? What do, do you, you see around Silas? Ooh, actually, that's a good question too. I was Silas, around him. You were around Silas. You would see floating eyes. Like Creepy. winged floating eyes. Uh, he's a like beholder, flat. kill him! <laughs> like like the metal ones I saw, or different? No, different. 
Okay. Like these, so these, these, I, these were like floating eyeballs with wings attached to them flying, like bat wings. Um, okay. I mean, I will, I will tell him of that next time I see him with a shirt on. <laughs> he's with a shirt on now. But I only he's... when he has a shirt on. <laughs> I assume he's by neon at this point as you're just seeing this. <laughs> So if he's not going to talk to him while he's shirtless, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> he's, he, sh he is not shirtless. He is he has a shirt. I would have made sure he had a shirt before going outside. True. He he does have a shirt on now. <laughs> um, okay. She's good. Wait, actually, I'm, I'm going to comment on it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. She's going to look at him for a moment and, like, tilt her head, kind of. Um, everyone... Well, what they see around everyone doesn't make any sense but yours yours is particularly peculiar i see eyeballs with bat wings <laughs> oh really uh yes and she's gonna say like as she like begins to follow one of them with her head mm -hmm. well where I come from, we call those spotters, so glad to see that they're still hanging around. Didn't you say I had the same thing, like, besides just the cogwheels? It's also those eye thingies as well. Well, yours were made of metal. These are not. These are flesh. Um, more uh, that like Neon will hold her fist out for a fist bump to, uh, to Silas. Silas will will tap and then do like an explosion motion with his hand. <laughs> Jan will do it as well. Nice. E even in weird hallucinations, we're twinning. I. <laughs> I think you two should have sex and get it over with. Yeah. <laughs> She's just gonna walk away. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Silas does. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go next to Atlas in the cafe. She's rather safe. She? <laughs> Silas says Neon with like a smile on his face. I wanna say Neon just kind of just stares at her for like a like a, like a really <laughs> long, hard few seconds. Like this was the last thing she was expecting. Like she doesn't even have a retort to that, and then she just um, slowly. <laughs> sorry, Timmy. Um, and then she just looks over to Silas and just kind of says, uh. I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna go drink some more tar. I'll be right back. And she just neither was I. I'm gonna throw up over the side of the ship. <laughs> <laughs> and she will walk away to the other side of the ship and just chug down that 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 oil like it's nobody's business. Silas is going to walk over to the side of the ship and begin to drive Eve. Anyway, <laughs> um, Atlas, uh, what was what were you gonna say? I was just going to explain, since I'm building the ship in the map, I'm on the uh, level that we're on right now. The front end where the wheel is, I left the same kind of cone, but this is in like a big glass dome. So you, we're still inside of a room for this like uh, piloting section. Um, so it's more like a cockpit than anything. I just wanted everybody to know that's how it was kind of coming out. Okay, alrighty. Sounds good to me. Which means it could be locked down and secured if goblins or whatever get on the boat. Um. In incidentally. Incidentally. Okay, <laughs> uh, so. I, uh, this particular um solar rail from here to the next system over um is relatively peaceful for lore reasons that will be explained later um <clears throat> so for the next 12 journeys while sailing aboard the so that was sailing atop the solar rail uh we can get into more specifics for down <gasps> sorry for downtime later um when everyone has like more of an idea since I'm kind of springing this on you kind of fast. Um, but while, uh, so basically we're, we're going to kind of speed along um, this little bit. 
Uh, if you guys do have ideas for what you would do, it would be like roughly 12 days of downtime from here to the end of the uh, of the first solar segment. Um, just let me know. We can talk about it throughout the week or whenever you get the inspiration to. Um, but is there anything immediate that anyone would like know that they would want to like begin to work on? So you mean to tell me that we're gonna spend the next couple sessions traveling so I can work off my insanity? Um, yes. Oh, thank God. So after today, we'll have fast forwarded to like a week in the future and I will no longer be affected by long term madness. Yes. <sighs> okay. Good. Good, 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 good. I want to give, like, a really short, brief rundown of, like, I think Neon and Silas will be starting to, like, work on different songs together and stuff like that, and, like, making making sense of leveling up soon enough of why I'm going to be becoming, uh, what I'm going to be becoming soon enough. So, like, that's gonna be, like, some more flavor thingies, and also to increase the friendship, uh, broommates, best friendship of Silas and, and Neon for the <laughs> being. Yeah, fair enough. Mm -hmm. fair enough. I don't have anything. I I don't think I have anything I actually explicitly want to do besides just that for right now. Okay. I am going to stay in my room for the next week and <laughs> try and avoid seeing anything else. Okay. And unless anyone comes to visit me, but I will. I will be sleeping off my insanity. Uh, Tal should probably end up visiting you, actually. Sure. GM, do we have time to go over that conversation, or, like, what, what are we doing? You wanna... Uh, yeah, you guys have time to to work off that conversation while I get to the event that's at the halfway marker for this. For sure. Yeah, so we would just knock on the door while you're in there at some point. Uh, you can let yourself in. Uh, he'll come in and shut the door behind him. What the? Tosh, here, by the way. What I, caused the onset I... of these hallucinations? Um. Uh, well, I mean, I've al I've already um. Uh... An about of madness showed more than I cared to, so <laughs> what's one more? And uh, she'll like open her robes a little bit, showing her sternum, and you see like a diamond shaped scar that's sort of purple, like purple black, and like, um, I don't know, Josh described it better, but like um, just this, this scar in the middle of her chest that, that has this like, like, dark magic sort of pulsating through it. I imagine it would still be pulsating through it because I'm still fucking insane. Uh, normally this is a little less active, but um, something happened uh, recently and now I... I am struggling. Is this the source of your divination? Yeah, more or less. I could not hear voices until it showed up, so I would assume. Showed up? Were you I, not born uh, with it? Uh, no, I was not born with it. Nor did it happen by organic means. I was not injured. I, um, I scared poor Neon. Just saying, kind of a whisper. There are still bugs around you. Yes, they... will probably haunt me longer than you'll be able to see them. Well, let's hope I can see them for much longer. They are surely a sign of my madness. <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, would 
my devotion to the goddess of afflictions give me any insight into this? Make me a religion check. Oh boy. Can't wait to fail this one. 17. I'm, okay, I'm actually willing to give him guidance on this. Okay. Uh, add a d4 onto that. Because this is not, this is not something that I know much about, so if he can tell me more, then I'm happy to help. <laughs> 17. So, 17 plus 2, 19. Um, okay. With a 19. Tosh. <laughs> this affliction the best way that you can describe it at least that is currently affecting Zevi it is not natural it is absolutely more akin to well calling it of the arcane seems wrong there is nothing innately magical about um about this presence that's embedded itself within Zevi's chest. In fact, instead of arcane, it's almost a lack thereof. Almost like a black hole of essence that has kind of found its home within Zevi. An ever consuming Rot, almost, as if to describe it. Familiar with that? And from and with and with a nineteen, because you passed the eighteen threshold, you do sense something from it, though. Something as in sadness, <laughs> just raw, overwhelming despair. It is. More dynamic than I assumed at first. An absence of essence of anything. I... Uh, yes, I... am perhaps far too familiar with it. Um, I don't know where it came from, but uh, I know what it's done to me. I... I vaguely remember who I was before. Mayhaps that is a good thing to not remember what you are. Mayhaps not. A long time ago, uh, uh, when I was new to the material plane, I had a man I called my father and he helped me control um, and overcome it since then it has been difficult but I try to manage on my own well you seem to be able to handle yourself if not the visions Thank you for your kind words. I do not see kindness in many words, just what they are. I lost much of my kindness long before I was here. The world simply spins, and things that are choose to be by the God's will. DM, mm -hmm. I know what you told me, and I'm going to ignore what you told me, and I'm going to do a sniff check anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you like me to do it blind? Yes. Uh, now remember, uh, you are, you are uh, three yeah, days uh, in. To I the remember. Okay. And this is I, who? The Tosh. man in front of me. <laughs> Tosh, okay. 
Okay. How does he smell? <laughs> how, how does he smell? Give me the Based on sniff. based on what's flying around me, probably not too well. <laughs> a bit a bit ripe. Uh, I'm bit going ripe. to put something in your player channel. Oh, okay. As the voices whisper something to you. Uh oh. God, I'm so glad I didn't roll low enough to make another fucking madness check. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled them both blind, too. I have no idea what numbers I rolled. Uh, I can't wait for everybody in this boat to go batshit crazy. Ares, if, if you go batshit crazy, are we gonna get a re -a thing of the custard? <laughs> Talish might very well be there. I'm not sure. You're what, talking what, custard. What do you mean custard? When you went crazy on my boat. <laughs> Your boat. I don't remember. You you made a little talking custard character. I remember it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nano remembers the talking. <laughs> I don't remember that. Probably for a good reason. <laughs> I, I kind of half remember. It's like a hazy fever dream. Yeah, you, so... you were on my boat. You you failed the ship madness test like four times, and you started talking to a cust a piece of custard you found and made a person out of it. <laughs> it might not be as bad as uh, Jeremy Esquire's fear of Mountain Dew. I'm not gonna lie, Heath. That does sound like me. God, I was so cool back then when I did that. <laughs> God, that was so cool. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. Don't remember what you called him, right, but Carly, you're just starting talking your to your custard. <laughs> what, Josh? Uh, Carly, it's in your, uh, your in channel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Ooh, that one's heavy. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a second. I have to, I have to process this. <laughs> really quick and uh what you see tell she's you see her sort of like grab her head um as like overlapping voices and she's trying to like signal out or like single out the one that's saying something important for a moment you and she what are you hearing Another layer of clothes, another polished mask, never running from duty nor shirking it. A stalwart hypocrite who faces what he feels he cannot escape. Would you like that in writing? <laughs> sure. <laughs> He really is a fly ring. <laughs> Hang on, let me put it somewhere. Where are you? You are here. I put it in the like chat between the two of us in the server. Perhaps the Divine choose to mock me again. Whatever it is that whispers in my ear, I'm sure it's not the Divine. I... Leave, I shall be taking my leave. I'm sorry if the words hurt you. I have a tendency to do that. Not the words. Not what you say. The memory is tied with you. She nods. 
I hope your yep. mentality recovers. It will soon. Before we get the, to uh, further <clears throat> ahead, nope. on day on the bordering end of day two of this journey, Lux, you're the first to see it. There's a ship approaching from the opposite end of the star of the uh, of the solar rail from where you all are currently positioned. It is heading towards you all. Fantastic. It is really large. Uh, Lux would shout down. So, I mean, Lux would have asked what he's supposed to say when he sees a ship. He wouldn't have just went up there without any <laughs> knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is the proper call for this? Uh, I'll let, um, I will let Atlas decide. what the proper protocol for that would have been. We will say for incoming ship, code gray. Code gray, gotcha. It's code gray, Captain! If it's suspected hostile incoming ship, it's code dark red. I, dark red. Uh, we have a color coding system. How fun! Uh, all right, I would I'll write it out for you later. I, I, I would. I would have no idea what. Does it look hostile at this point? I mean, it's a little far away. It's big, but you're not sure. Yeah, I mean, big doesn't mean hostile. Yeah. No, no, no I'm just saying it just looks big. That's that's literally. A really know. big gray, code gray, huge, even humongous. <laughs> Lux is my favorite character. <laughs> God bless this child. <laughs> I'm glad you like him. I'm having a lot of fun playing a 12-year-old hyperactive child on sugar. <laughs> As it's coming closer and closer, the rest of the people who are on the deck at the time would be able to see it off in the distance. And this is what you see. In session art. Oh, we're going a proper sci-fi ship. <laughs> Uh, Captain, let me know that there's code gray. Yes, he would have sent you ascending. Would I recognize? Basically this? saying, Atlas, you might want to get up here um, and bring the rest of the crew as well. Uh, My specific portion of the crew, or any general that you crew? Would feel general, I think. I think we're about to shake the flannel. Uh, Neon, make me, make me a um, either history or Arcana, your choice. Both the same. Guess I'll let the party know, and then I will get my specific portion of the crew and the defenders. No need to bother the rest. Okay. I, I, I slide down the rope to see what's happening. <laughs> Neon. This ship specifically. It does not look like any tech that you've seen from Mechanis specifically. However, this tech that you see far outscales anything that you've seen mortal, or like basically material plane beings uh, be able to do thus far. Mm -hmm. This is bordering on Mechanis level tech. I will try to find the captain immediately to inform him of. If there's anyone here who understands high, high, super high tech, it's the person who's from the place that has super high tech. Hey, GM. Hmm. There is a certain set of creatures that I'm particularly well acquainted with. Yes. I would like to try and sense their existence. Right. Uh, I will go ahead and say you've been around those particular creatures long enough to know what their architecture and their ship design is like. This is not one of those. Um, okay. The design well, is that's... too. The designs are too uniform. Um, usually, those types of ships are a bit more chaotic. Okay, that that's you know 
a little disappointing for Zebby, <laughs> but she'll make do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because she could really use some friends right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. When uh, the crew gets on deck and everything, Atlas follows shortly behind. And normally he speaks in a relatively soft tone. But this go around, you hear for the first time him shout attention on deck. You shout that, Lux starts looking at the floor. <laughs> Eyes he up, just Lux. grabs Lux's <laughs> chin and just like moves his head up towards the ship. Not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to say that at this point, Neil and have her wings popped out. <laughs> okay. Uh, is Dane on, on deck? Yes, Dane is currently manning the uh, helm. Uh, Dane, I don't, uh, I wanted to, I don't exactly recognize the ship, but that's really close to McCannis' level of technology. This could be bad. I'm keeping an eye on it. Now that Atlas isn't near the captain, um, <laughs> do I stay around him? We're about to be attacked by space, <laughs> mechanical space pirates, but I'm too she busy. might hate. She might not get the chance, you know. So <laughs> a teleporter yes. to the captain. Oh my, what <laughs> move? <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Um, <laughs> Could you shut off I, him real quick? <laughs> can I send over the sending stone to the captain? If any messages have been received, any hails. <laughs> um, so he was about to say no, but as soon as he says that, there is suddenly a voice that is carried over across the distance of your current positions on this on the solar rail. A deep booming voice um that says um something to the effect of one second oh uh hail there travelers from the shattered sisters hmm interesting it has been quite some time since we've seen well Travelers from your neck of space. Mind if, well, permission to come aboard and, well, talk. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, it will just be myself, my, my commanding officer, and uh, one other. No weapons, no tricks. Hmm. Is that to any of us in particular? Oh, uh, that's to all of you. Alice will speak up since he's accustomed to this sort of thing. Permission granted. Excellent. We will be there shortly. So Josh, and... the captain? Hmm. <laughs> the captain? <laughs> what about the captain? Oh, oh. <laughs> you never That's around him? Yeah. Listen, I, I can't see things. This is my one chance to see things. From the captain, there's a black mist. Kind of hot. Okay. <laughs> And since Neon's standing right next to the captain, there are, there are just swirling oh, gears it's, in that it's mist. it's gears and black mist. Uh, it looks like it's a malfunctioning machine. How fantastic. Uh, any machine's a smoke machine if you operate it wrong enough. So true. I love okay. how you said wrong enough. So, three members you see watch come from this ship. Each one standing at about 12 feet tall, roughly. Are they hot? There are only three of them. Pictures? And in... Uh, oh, don't worry. I got pictures. Are they um, hot? We will see. We will see. We'll see. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Calm yourself. 
horny taking over. It's I mean, same. I'm, I'm also worried, but I'm trying to contain it right now, okay? Sorry, Josh, carry on. <laughs> I am showing the art now, and they are all in a... This isn't in Discord. This is actually in-game. Um, it's the third one. About to show the third one? Oh... You watch as from the ship, they don't take any vessels over. Each of them kind of bamf out a pair of just radiant, beautiful shades of just massive wings from their backs. Um, as you watch from their ship, all three of them begin to um, immediately fly at a super fast speed towards the ship. But again, as you see, no weapons appear to be on any of the three. As one by one, they, uh, they land upon your vessel and just... Um, so they arise from their positions. Uh, the first to speak is the golden-haired man with the beard. Um, uh, welcome, travelers. Uh, You're sorry crazy. for startling you. Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> Atlas will offer a standard <laughs> salute from his country. Welcome to the Star Caller. Lux is walking around them, inspecting them. <laughs> uh, like I said before, they are roughly around each one standing about anywhere from uh, 11 feet at the, at the shortest, being the, the oh, white yeah, uh, male. Lux is crotch, to... uh, right at the crotches, I get you. <laughs> and then uh, the tallest being the golden-haired man at roughly 13 feet, roughly, is the, is the tallest amongst these. Oh, Ice marines over here. Why are you guys so pretty? <laughs> I, uh, I appreciate the compliment. Um, allow me to introduce myself and my companions. It was a question, not a compliment. <laughs> I don't... Uh, genetics, maybe. I, I wish I could tell you. I really hate <laughs> cool. You um, really got the gas pipes on, don't you? <laughs> I wish I knew what that meant. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you really don't. You really, really don't. Is Augustus Falco. Uh, right here, the associate that hailed you that uh, from aboard the ship. This is uh, Inquisitor Celiana. And the last one here, uh, right behind me, is my squire. This is uh, Redaniel Voss. Um, well. Uh... I take it, um, are you, is your vessel faring from the Shattered Sisters, or are you from beyond the Broken We are thing? from the Shattered Sisters, correct. From the Shattered Sisters. No, Incredible some... that more and more of your kind can cross the veil into, well, into you know, actual space nowadays, it seems like. Every year, there seems to be more vessels able to cross from from your plane of things onward. It's always good to see, honestly. Mm. Welcome to Imperium Space. Uh, like I said, my name is Augustus Falco. Um, I am the uh, I am the Praetorius over this particular Dominion. It's a pleasure to meet all of you, Starcaller crew. This this guy is clearly a celestial, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, I don't know. Oh, oh sorry, I I said Imperium, not Imperium. Uh, Dominion space, sorry. <clears throat> this is funny. <laughs> oh, did you get my message, by the way, Josh? Uh, one second. Oh, um, yeah, Silas is gone, by the way. He is, uh, uh nowhere to be found currently. <laughs> um... Uh, anyway, um... Well, Hang on one second. I'm still... Board. I'm still insane. This is just to see if I can keep it together really quick. Don't forget it's disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, tell me what... Tell me what my lowest number was, Josh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, you're still insane. I... No, 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 no. Your no, lowest no. roll is a four. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, well... Oh wait, are you pushing it? Are you actually like looking? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, that's a four, so you're gonna have to roll the list Jesus. that I sent you again. <laughs> the same one I did earlier. 
Yes. Oh, very cool. Okay. Oh, very cool. At this point, uh, Zevi's uh, going to What you start... see around each three of these, by the way, uh, Zevi, is blinding light. That's it. That is all you see. Atlas will speak to these three beings as everybody else is guffawed at their looks, I guess. <laughs> hey, you don't know oh. what, I'm fe- what I'm feeling. Oh, no. Ne- Neon's not approaching them. Though usually Neon's pretty talkative, but for these people in particular, they're crossing their arms and not going to introduce themselves. Josh, you have to tell me what that means. I'll, I'll pick a potion for you in a little bit here. Um... Okay, I'm gonna ask um, the tallest one if I can touch his face. <laughs> I He looks to Inquisitor Celiana, who like looks to him and then looks at her and then looks back at him and then just kind of like shrugs and he goes I mean I don't see why not he says as he kind of like kneels down to be at like face level with you <laughs> nice Alice okay. pinches the bridge of his nose <laughs> I I am Lux just keeps walking around them over and over again <laughs> anyway yeah okay um, funny what I wanted to, what I wanted to say previously, um, or the reason why we hailed you, um, normally we would have just let you by and just given you a warm, cordial welcome to, to Dominion Space. However, we are here on mission. Um, we wanted to ask was that in this particular region of Dominion Space, we've been having uh, a lot of trouble recently with. Um, uh, particular rapscallion that's been exploring this area of space um, and we just want to know specifically if y'all had ever encountered him or any of his cohorts before well either in your edge of space or beyond to be honest the only thing we've encountered so far is space whales and space goblins what are they uh, asking about um, he, they're asking about specifically if, uh, if the party has encountered, um, a particular person that they are hunting after. And they've gave us, given us no description of this person yet. Not yet, no. <laughs> what well, does so in, this person Unless they're a like? star goblin or a star whale. Hmm. No, no, I am afraid not. A bit more dangerous than this. Star what is goblin. It? However, what he'll he'll reach um into uh he's like, oh actually, is this your first time exploring Dominion space? <laughs> you and your crew. First time I've been it out is. here, Mister. Mm. Interesting. Well, you all are going to need one of these. He says as he kind of like reaches into like a um a uh basically like a like a haversack at his side um and pulls out what looks to be a um tablet of sorts with like a a a digital screen almost completely uh (laughs) and hands it to whoever the closest person is which would be um possibly lux because lux is strong actually lux you know what (laughs) lux has literally been up in their face you know what he'll he'll hand the kid an ipad why not (laughs) (laughs) atlas sees it handed over to lux he's like (laughs) I remember those. <laughs> well, something like them. That right there is a uh, that right there is a data tab. Uh, with it, you should be able to well make basic scans and uh, record information on them. Run it through the well local information data banks that are around in Dominion Space. Obviously, it's not a catch-all. You won't be able to get information on anything that you attempt to scan, but as long as it's within Dominion Skies, uh, you might be able to get a decent enough reading. Um, anyway. He'll he'll tap, like, two particular, like, um, applications on it while you're holding it, Lux, and he's going to bring up something uh, that I'm going to show to all of you. Um, I'm gonna play Coca Melon. Yummy! That's a neat, uh, governor. Uh, let's see. Show as journal. Yeah, I think. Right. Okay. Does everyone see that? Yes. You mean the evil uh, tentacle wizard? 
Yes. The Admiral. <laughs> Looks like Gandalf if he was getting by a mind player. <laughs> Question. Yes. Single? Do I <laughs> see this? Do you see this? Uh... Actually, I don't think so. Because I don't... It would just be a light, light image, like blindness and blindsight would have no way of detecting that. Yeah. I think <laughs> someone could describe it. I think someone could describe what's on the page to you. Lex, have you said anything about what you saw on the screen oh, his out loud? His first thing would be, Oh, look at them tentacles! <laughs> what? Uh, Zephy's immediately, like, paying attention. Um, what does it do, see, Lex? I see a man with, like, a tentacle beard. Uh, and I Zephy's walking say, away. They're really well, I'm, nifty I'm leaving. hot. I... <laughs> I'm running away. Mm -hmm. But wait, where, where are you going? Lux just chases after. With the... uh, as they run off, you notice that uh, um, Augustus' eyes kind of snap up as he's kind of like watching the two leave, and he's just he's just silently watching them leave. You'll have to pardon them; they're civilians. Hmm. Fair enough. I take it you wouldn't have seen, um, well, an individual matching this description passing through, have you? <laughs> he is a very, very dangerous individual. Um, I've seen many things in my life, but that individual, no, not once. Uh, you see then that he looks to the Inquisitor. Who was looking at you, like like staring, like daggers into your eyes almost, um, and then looks immediately to Augustus and nods. Who then nods back. All right, that's all I really need to know then. Uh, actually, hmm. I'm gonna insight that. Okay. I have a feeling I know what it is, but. Oh. Okay. When she was looking at you. Uh, and then looked at him. It was almost like it was like a confirmation that you were telling the truth. You don't know how she knows exactly that she knew that you were telling the truth, but you were, she could tell that you were not being dis honest. Okay. As I thought. Well. Um, actually, one more question before uh, we make our leave. Do you believe anyone in your party to maybe potentially know anything, anything of the location of this, well, most inhospitable sort? Again, he is a local insurrectionist and terrorist. If any information that you could offer us, uh, we would make sure that you and your entire crew would be very handsome and for your time and efforts. To be quite honest, we've only known one another, most of us have only known one another for less than a week. Uh, I'll see looks... if I can find anything out, though. Um, yeah, the only one up there right now is just, yeah, it's just Neon, still having her arms folded, just staring. Oh, so Tausch is there, too. I can't so imagine most of them would know anything about this base terrorist considering we are from the Shattered Sisters I would be surprised to learn if anybody did fair enough actually well he's going to look to Celiana first Celiana still staring at you then turns to Augustus and nods Augustus nods back to her alright thank you for your time my, apology. Uh, my apologies for well keeping up your well, means of travel. Um, you see at that point, then, that the captain would then kind of take off his hat, press it to his chest, and give a very polite bow. Um, my, uh, dearest thanks for, you know, not giving us too much grief aboard and uh, upon entering 
would seem to be skies that are, I would assume, to be controlled by the lot of you. To which Augustus, or rather, actually, I think I'm going to um, let... Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to let Redaniel take this one. Uh, Redaniel then kind of nods and says, um, Oh, no, no, no. It is fine. It is fine. Uh, pay, pay no mind or attention to it. We are just... We are just... Peacekeepers trying to do what is best for these for these skies and this nation. Um, he'll then nod, and Augustus will then kind of... Um, like, stiffen his back a little bit and say, uh, So... Um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, do you all have a particular destination in mind in your travels for, well, the foreseeable future? We could see about maybe potentially giving you an escort, um, at least to the more nearing, uh, neighboring systems. Make your trip a little bit easier. Hm. You know, help you maybe dodge a bit of the Confederacy and the... Uh, <laughs> the conniving machinations of the Interastral Trade Federation as well. Do you have any write-ups on this confederacy and ITF? Uh, the confederacy is a bit of a... Um, uh, I, I can see if I can get you some information on that, yes. yes. Um, if you scan through the uh, information provided on that tablet slab I gave you. You should be able to find information on that. Also for the Interastral Trade Federation as well. Yes, I can. There is absolutely information on, on them within that slab as well. Mm. Very well. As far as... I suppose a escort goes captain maybe to the next system i think to the next system would be fine but i don't think we would need it much for that indeed have have they looked over to neon at all like even a glance uh daniel has a couple times and so is the inquisitor just you know casually looking around mm -hmm. uh anything they would see from neon or just her staying there with arms crossed not really enjoying their company. <laughs> I'm saying like her her glasses are dropped a little bit as the clicking of gears is just staring at them as it just keeps moving and just like the soft soft sound of a click click just keeps going on kind of silent like almost silently. Oh, one more piece of advice. Um, since you are currently going to the next system, um, the next system being uh, the Mistora system uh, <laughs> is a trade hub for the IT for the ITF so uh, if you all need to refuel or anything um, that would be a good place to get your bearings and maybe get some more information about the uh, about the ninth ring besides that um, be on your guard though leaving the Mistora system there's rumors of uh, mercenaries out and about that are, um, well, hunting after a most dangerous game. Are there ships as advanced as yours? <laughs> Not quite. No. I gotta say, that's something I'm impressed about. Almost beat Mechanus back home. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The mechanical kind. We are, uh, somewhat aware of um, of them. The techno their technological prowess is something to be marveled for certain. Yeah, we'll give a nod. Let's see. Atlas will give the ship kind of a uh... what's the right descriptor here? Melancholic look? He'll, uh, Augustus will, like, take a look at the ship and kind of, like, under his metal boot, just kind of, like, examine, like, the, the wooden craftsmanship of it. Um, hmm. Very impressive that you were able to 
across the Nexus in a ship in a vessel such as this. We have a great captain's bar. Mm, fair enough. Well, maybe as you adventure further and further through the rings, you'll be able to amass the... Mm, both the credits and the... Mm, renown to perhaps... Uh, Get something a bit more sturdier. He says with like a smirk. And you see that uh that um <laughs> uh Dane does not take much kindly to that comment specifically as he kinda just like furrows his brow a bit. <sighs> I plan on taking this ship as far as it'll go. Not a moment further. To which Augustus will then kind of look to him and nod and say, I see. Respectable. If uh well reckless he says he then kind of like looks to his uh his other companions and then says well me and my companions must away every uh, moment we spend lagging about is another moment in which the admiral slips a little further from our grasp i hope you understand mm. of course seliana rodanio me asked away Farewell, stair callers. Hopefully we will see each other again someday. Um, Augustus will then kind of bamf out his wings, as will the other two, as they immediately, like, um, rocket up into the sky, into a plume of feathers, before making their way back onto the large dreadnought vessel. Um, and on the side of it, uh, you see a symbol, um, second while I pull it up. I'm gonna be honest, uh, the second they're out of earshot and they're near their ship, I wanna say Neon in her native tongue just starts cursing them out for being stuck up, stern sons of bitches, and she hates them already. <laughs> <laughs> and she wished she could have said something, but she didn't want to do anything that could bring attention to anything that she was doing. <laughs> Uh, one second while I, uh, put this image in the, uh, chat real quick. Um, as you see, this, this, this black and gold image, uh, is kind of, like, emblazed on the, um, uh, I don't know if it's port or starboard. Uh, wh whichever, whichever side is closest to you. Is port is left by. because left has four letters and so does port. Oh, fair. Port side. Um... On the port side, you see this symbol. One second while I go to reference art. That somebody knows that. Session. I read a book when I was like 15 that explained it that way, and I was like, ah, oh, sweet. I learned it that way in college, too. Well, like... oh, nerd. <laughs> One second. Wow, it's almost like it's relevant in my line of work. That's crazy. Ooh. Oh gosh, no. The, the, the increase of cringe knowing that they're celestial even more. <laughs> By the Emperor's light. How gaudy. <laughs> and the enemy is like a... Man, you speak with such volatility. Yeah, she she's been cursing this entire time in her native language, and you, what does it sound like again? I don't think you ever described it, Josh. Oh, more, uh, for more... for Modron specifically. Yeah. Modron tongue is. <sighs> How do I describe it? It's very monotone, um, and kind of drones a bit. Uh, but it does sound very um almost alien. Almost in its dialect. Yeah, you just hear Neon speak in that type of tone and just kind of just go off a lot faster than how you probably should do it. So it's barely understandable as she just looks kind of like a bit nervous, but a mix of like, oh my god, finally they're gone, but without actually saying it in common. <laughs> <laughs> um, just by Talish's body language, you can tell that his face is matching his mask. Um, are they... are they gone? They are gone, yes. And the ship is beginning now to pass you. Zephy Heading towards see. the Shattered Sisters. 
No, I would have said when you disappeared. Back. Oh, my, my character was right on your heels. <laughs> yeah, we would have just hid behind a wall for a minute and then came back. <laughs> it's fine. That went interestingly. What, what, what is that about, Bert? I mean, you seemed a little worried. Uh, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't need to make an insight check for that. He doesn't believe that in a mi for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now that other people are around, I'm going to point to the picture that he had on the tablet and say, um, what is that creature there? What is it? Uh, what it I looks know? looks like a person stuffed an octopus I, on his head. I know, <laughs> it I know says species illithid mind flare. Yes. That's what they were. That's what they were for. If you want a more, like, description of what his face looks like, I can just make you a small statuette with magic, so you could Do you know it. about these creatures? She nods, yes. Blimey, yeah, Mom, what do you know about them? My father is one. He looks down at it and looks back <laughs> up at you. <laughs> <laughs> you take after your mom, then. <laughs> <laughs> not my, not my little father, but the the thing. Atlas rubs his chin at that revelation. Uh, I, I want to. Oh. You may want to I... avoid the gaze of those individuals if they ever visit us again. That's why I left. <laughs> Very inconspicuously on my dad. <laughs> you want like a small statuette of this guy's head to see if you recognize him in any way? Or are you not comfortable with that? Uh, it's just so you can see with your fingers. Describe me. Very well. Uh, Neon will describe him very I'm... well. You know what? I don't need describe it. Josh, you know what I'm doing? Hmm. I'm going to use a spell slot. I'm going to cast Find Familiar, and I'm going to look through a familiar's eyes at this picture. Ah, okay. Yeah, fair enough. That takes an hour, right? Not if you use a spell slot to do it. It takes an hour if you use it as a ritual. No, it takes it an ritual. hour and ten minutes if you do it as a ritual. It takes an hour, period. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're going anywhere anywhere. Oh, I know. I'll just, it's, it's just... Yeah, okay. You can still do it if you want. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah, that's I'm discouraging. Gonna... It's like, it is an hour. <laughs> Take any check at disadvantage because I'm insane. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even just insane once, I'm insane twice. You're double insane. Oh, speaking of, those things um, stack. Hold on. Yep. Oh yeah, and I just got a new one. So not only do I see hallucinations, I'm also experiencing a powerful delusion, um, where my character imagines that he or she is under its effect or of the effect of a random. Now, project. to be fair, this one oh, this one only lasts uh, two days. Okay. Well, That's nice. nice. Uh, but let me go ahead and see what potion effect I'm gonna pick one at random. Um, da, da, da. Dun, 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 scroll up, scroll down, scroll up. Disability would be fun. Uh, before oh. we... <laughs> what is it? Is it... Well, please oh, please that's Filter of Love. It'd be hilarious. Oh, oh come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Yeah, my Actually, no, I, I can't use this one. Like, okay, let me, let me do it. Wait, no, no, what was it? No, no. It's... So, it was one of those things where it's like... It says potion, but it's actually a poison, so that wouldn't make sense. Um, we're just filter of love because it's funny. Oh yeah, like make me. I literally them. said that, and then I literally clicked a potion of poison again. I'm okay. Well done, Josh. Two times in a row. Okay. Show us how it's done. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah do, do something spicy. Yeah, I think it'd be <laughs> funny if you spicy. actually had the, like the reduced potion, so you thought yourself to be like. Four feet tall, so you kept bumping Ooh. in the doorways, <laughs> ducking. 
Because <laughs> it shrunk this old damn one. <laughs> How does the love potion work? Like, if I thought I was afflicted by it, but I just thought You automatically. I clicked on potion of invisibility. You think you're invisible? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's horrifying. Because if you think you're invisible, would you wear the mask? Oh God, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would take off the mask. You're so right. Everyone needs to see my face today. <laughs> face reveal. Face reveal second session. <laughs> second that I thought I was invisible, I would just show everyone. That's uh, so where... funny. As long as you don't think you're running around naked, it's like, I'm invisible, woo! No, so my character wouldn't. Would you normally be naked when you're invisible? I wouldn't think so. I know, but I was just like, how far does it go? She probably wouldn't even be naked in the privacy of her own home. She's wah, well, she's the type that bays with her clothes on, gotcha. <laughs> where where do I put this stuff? Probably reference art? No. Art. Yeah, probably just art. Uh it's really by the way, to ours. Uh, where is art? In the general text session. <laughs> At the top. Here we go. Here is what I look like on this. Oh, Alright. Think of this. The, the second that she thinks she's invisible, she's just gonna take it off <laughs> and start scratching your head. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it went from me. To Aries, to just everybody. <laughs> Listen, delusions are powerful. <laughs> I know, but it's hilarious that like <laughs> to think to think that the facade of 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 what woman of mysteries Evie is has been broken in the span of two sessions. <laughs> I... Well, I suppose I'm glad one of us has the restraint to keep the mask on. What do you mean? Um, like, nothing. Bert, what, what you doing? What do you mean? Like, can you see me? Yeah, yeah, we can well, see. Well, I, I, oh, I, I, I can see, see with like, I, I can see without with my no, I, I, I have like blind sight, but you know, I don't need it. <laughs> I, I, I am under the effect of an invisibility potion. You should not be able to see me. Uh, like, darling. Oh, you must have seen invisibility powers. Yeah, nice. yeah, darling, hun. Love, we we can we can see through it. Mm. Are you all more powerful than I thought? <laughs> uh, just for the moment being, yeah. <laughs> we can see right through it. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I must tell about it. <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourself. It's quite all right. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey Josh, I sent you a DM. Uh, I don't I'm shouting his name. I don't think I. Uh, I don't think he's up the dick. <laughs> what? What? She's not up the dick. I don't think many people are at the moment. Well, what is? <laughs> what is Avante? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Avante would would come from like from below deck. <laughs> Uh, yes, um, what is it, Zevi? They can all see me. <laughs> yes, you are <laughs> completely visible right now. Also, wow, I never thought you would be so comfortable as to just take off your mask in front of everybody. That's a good, that's a, that's a, oh, you've been listening to my advice, you're, you're taking the steps, you're... <laughs> we're, 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 we're making healthy choices. Is, is that what we're? What do you? Avante, uh, there is more at play than you see. What do you mean? Oh, I, I oh no! What what has happened? Uh, you should not be able to see me. Can you see invisibility? Mental breakdown. You seem. are. You are. Oh no! I think she got a bit um, also, uh, <laughs> so um, let me see. I wouldn't think so, I was just asking.
Posh, go ahead and try it. Uh, I'll spend five uh, hands. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll walk up to uh, Zevi. Zevi, uh, may I put a hand on your shoulder? Can you see my shoulders? I will make a very good guess. You are very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As the Leon hands magic flows from your hand into her, I will say that you can get rid of any effect that has that is no greater than three days. So I'll, I'll get rid of the potion. Okay. Oh my goodness! I took my mask off. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> that makes one of us. <laughs> Dollface, are you alright? Do you do you need a second? Do you need uh, to go inside? Tash will pick are up you... the mask and give it back to you. Thank you. She like rushes to put it back on her face. <laughs> <laughs> how did you how did you do that? Goddess of afflictions has gifted me many abilities. Sevi's gonna take you in for an un- un- consent- in- con- unconsensual hug right now. <laughs> How uncomfortable that ta- does this Tao sh- just, like, feel from just seeing his body? <laughs> I... Like, on a scale of one to, like, like a- like a- board of wood. How stiff are you right now? He is incredibly shocked. And when you pull away, he is going to rush back downstairs. <laughs> oh. I I did not mean to upset him. I, I was just grateful. I appreciate it. I do not worry about it. Hmm. Uh, what just happened to me? <laughs> I think you thought you were invisible, Mom. <laughs> I know I thought it was invisible, but I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know either, but, uh... Hey, hey Josh, I have a quick question. Mm. It's been a few years since, you know, I've had any sort of maintenance on my back area. How is it? How is it feeling? I'm just curious mm. about it. I'm sorry, repeat one more time. I uh, remember the, the the thing with her back, uh, with Leon's back. Mm-hmm. Uh, it hasn't been maintained for a number oh, of for years a while. now. Yeah. How is, how bad is it? They're rickety. All right. They're still uh, functional, but it's you can you can hear them whirring around and kind of like clunking. Some gears getting caught every now and then. You're probably now, gonna, you're probably yeah. gonna be maintenance on them at some point. Now that I think about that, I'm going to head back downstairs to see the mechanics for something. Uh, I mean, if you're not doing anything, looks over to Zevi and Lux. I consider you two close friends if you want to come with me. But if you don't want to, that's fine. It's just I don't. I wouldn't mind hanging out with you more. Sure, I, I'd head down with you. Atlas, you should come too. Uh, I think I need you close by. My mental faculties are not doing as good as I think they are. Hmm. Well, I was going to ask you about this illithid father of yours. I will answer any question if you accompany. I guess we're all. I guess we're all going. Not that I'm afraid. I am going to just think about what the uh, our well, I hesitate to call them com- or friends or companions or acquaintances, but what the people we just met told us. Um, and trust me, I don't think I trust them as much as any of you either. Um, or rather, sorry, I phrased it wrong. Um, I don't believe I trust them 
any more than you all do, so. Mm -hmm. We'll have to keep on our guard as best as we can while exploring these guys. Right, I assume we're walking to the uh, mechanics area now? Yeah, sorry. Um, I disconnected. What I was going to say was I would answer any question for him as long as uh, he joined us. <laughs> uh, I want to yeah, say, oh, on the way there, uh, Neon just says out in the open, really no one in particular. Uh, Silas, if you want to come with, you can as well. It might be good to see what... Uh, you know, to get more information, I guess. If you don't want to, you can just hang out. Like, just, he's just not even there, and she's just saying it. Uh, yeah, you know, why not? That's like I got anything better to do right now, anyway. Does this voice just come out of nowhere? Yeah, and then all of a sudden you notice that he's, like, walking from around, like, a shadowy corner. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, I'll do some fireworks for him. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm so glad they're gone. Uh, I could smell the holy stench from a mile off. They seem like assholes. Oh, they're, they're celestials. They're absolutely assholes. Trust seem me. Seem perfectly fine to me. Uh, well... Have you dealt much with Celestials? From wherever you hail from? No, I've dealt with worse. Far worse. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just saying, Celestials kind of the reason the world's broken apart. I'm very happy Tal she's in here. So you didn't hear that. I pray to one Celestial. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, I assume we, we head to the mechanics area. One, oh, how... and only the one. <laughs> how, how does it look in there? Um, how does it look in the oh in the mechanics offices? Yeah, yeah. It's a little hectic. Uh, currently, you see um, Matara and um, uh, and and Raycelia currently just working on something, and and Gibo is still in the boiler room, so not currently where you all are. Um, uh, but as they turn, um, Matara turns to Rosalia and says, Oh, uh, could you, um, be a deer and just, uh, help with those last little few calibrations over there? And Rosalia would, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, politely, um, oblige and continue while Matara turns to, uh, um, the rest of you, saying, Oh, uh, Hello, all of you. Um, nice to see you all down in the engineering decks. Uh, is there anything that I could do for a lot of you? Do uh, you have the intercom system open real quick? I could. She says as she like reaches over for like a stone nearby. Can you just you let the crew, the deck crew, know that they're dismissed? Ah, uh, deck crew, you are dismissed. Deck crew, you are dismissed. She says she like uh moves the um, basically what's what she's using is like a it's like a modified sending stone that instead projects her voice through magic mouths across the ship. Mm -hmm. Thank That's you. That's cool. I forgot to dismiss them. No worries. Happy to do it anytime. You think they start looking at the deck? <laughs> <laughs> you. You said you wanted to ask about my father. Yes, I had a few questions about that. Okay, I am mostly prepared. Shouldn't we get on? Uh, it's fine, you guys can go first. I'm just gonna just stand here and wait to do my thing. I will not die because of it. It will be fine. <laughs> I start poking at it. <laughs> What are you talking about? You're not gonna die because of it. Well, it's in. T it's not bad right now, but it could get bad. But I don't think in the span of time it'll take you to talk. I don't think I will just spontaneously, you know, die. Well, we can go we... to a different room if you need to get. No, no, no. It, it, it's all right. It's fine. I do. I brought you guys here because 
you guys just wanted to come see what I was doing, and I didn't mind, and I wanted to bring my friend along. Friends along. Looks to Lux and and uh, Silas and Zevi. It's just that well, if you want to have if you want to have your conversation first, I I don't mind. I was just making a joke about it. I didn't mean to be rude. Are you um, incapable of both? Doing mechanic stuff and listening to a conversation. I'm Does gonna man... have. I'm gonna be having to answer a lot of questions that Matar is gonna have for me, is what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'd rather uh, if you guys need to have an important conversation, I would rather you guys go first and not be distracted. I'm. I'm trying to be nice, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna insight to see if she's gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow, is that how you wish, Josh? I'll give it up to you. It's funnier. Uh... Atlas, the insight king. That is a really high insight. Um. She seems stable for now. I'll try to keep them brief so you can get your maintenance done, I suppose. I, whatever no. is it's going fun. on with your back. It, it's fun, it's fun. I'm just like, uh, I didn't mean to be rude. I was just trying to make a nice quip just to be kind of funny. But I guess you guys don't understand humor from my world. <laughs> Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> trying to get used to the material plane kind of spoken thingy. Getting used to it kind of hard. So go on, go on ahead. Talk about stuff. I'm right. I'll be right here. <laughs> well, Zevi, clearly your father being an elephant and you being you don't look biologically related. No, he. I, I was raised by, by um, not just one, but several illicit. So like in ill ill the a squid man Il mom and dad <laughs> illicit illicit. Hey Josh, does Atlas know anything about illicits? Um, yes, actually, I was, I was, I was about to say make a check, but you honestly don't need one. Um, Illithids, sadly, <laughs> um, served as a bulwark of the forces that, uh, came in through the Void Tears, um, that kind of, <laughs> well, uh, we'll just say that you're familiar with them. Oh boy, am I. Okay. Atlas uh, quirks a brow up at this, thinks something to himself. He doesn't say anything, uh, but you can definitely tell that there's some gears in his mind turning on that uh, note. Very interesting. How did you find yourself among a colony of them, much less being raised? Um, with an affliction such as my own, um, it helps to be around creatures that have dominion over the mind. I suppose that makes a fair bit of sense, actually. It was a lot easier to manage my condition when um, Reok was around. What was the culture like? Oh, I'm trying to be as vague as possible. <laughs> we got a little Josh, messy can... around dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow you for a quick sec? Uh, sure, sure. One second. <laughs> So I just realized, uh, if my character is going to be an adult by the end of this campaign, I need adult Lux art. <laughs> yeah. 
You gotta get a new art for him each year. <laughs> that Probably passes enough. in game. I have a better idea. Get a get a character art of someone in a mask so that way you never have to worry about it. <laughs> Unless you're Zevi and think you're invisible. Luckily I'm not. I am Tausch, and I know I'm not invisible. <laughs> Uh, that was fucking hilarious. That like one like I've noticed it first. Then we remove it on purpose, and then we think we're fucking invisible and remove it for everybody. <laughs> Tal's isn't gonna let that live that live her, let her live that down. Nope. Okay. I just needed to farm for a second. Sorry. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by culture. Um, I spent my formative years within the Shadowfell, and then, um, not many years after I heard the voices for the first time, I left, and I sought, you know, what anyone else does, comfort. Um, and then I met my father. And, um, he gave me a new family. They helped me manage my condition. <clears throat> um, helped me hone my skills. And if I was, if not for them, I would have gone insane a long time ago. <clears throat> How old were you when you met your father? Young, probably the equivalent of uh, how old Lux is now. I see. But for my people, that is a little different. For uh, a longer lived species. What was with the reaction, then? It seemed more like you were worried than... ...afraid... ...than, I, uh... ...sentimental. I, I sensed nothing but power from those creatures. I was worried that if they... ...spent too long in my presence, that they... ...would know that I was associated with Illithid. It was not... And it's not even that illicit in particular that I know, but I was worried that perhaps they would just know, and I'm not keen to give up my freedom anytime soon. <clears throat> you know what, based off that, Lux will just give her a quick sniff to see if she smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead wow. and give me a perception check at advantage. A sniff check has been... Turned onto you. <laughs> like, like calamari, Lux. Like calamari. Oh my god, do I smell like fish? Is that canon? <laughs> like calamari, I wouldn't say like fish. That's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to smell like fish. <laughs> I didn't say you smell, I said you smell like calamari. You uh, yeah, smell like an, a, a Thessalopod, that's so much better. <laughs> just... I smell like fish. Um, Gosh, give me a new smell. <laughs> <laughs> it's too oh. late. Calamari is confirmed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gives a quick sniff and then he kind of like uh, looks over at her like, Yeah, they, 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 they might have noticed. <laughs> I wanna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I go insane twice. I get told I smell like fish. In, like, oh. in the meantime, um, Matara's gonna uh, hop up onto a step ladder while sitting you down on a like a little like a little engineering table, Neon. Um, oh, I haven't told like, her yet. I wanna. Can I describe oh, oh. this a little bit? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like, uh. The best way I can explain this is that I need this to survive, and usually I had the same person do maintenance on it for over about, like, a hundred-something odd years, give or take, 
and uh, I haven't had any sort of checkups with it for a few years now, so I I can feel that it's bent out of shape, and if it gets worse, I won't be able to really move anymore. Hmm. And, well, uh... I, have that. I want to say, like, her wings retract back normally, mm -hmm. and, uh... The shirt that she's wearing, she just takes off her jacket, like, uh... Hmm, how do I want to describe this in a way? I want to say, like, she will rip the back of her shirt, not really caring, as... Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a- the, the back that she has is almost completely concaved in with just pure metal and a metal spine. It looks like, from- you can tell, like, from her shoulders all the way to, like, her sides, there are deep and just really bad burn wounds. Like, her back was melted off. And this had to be replaced in or she would have died. And she kind of just kind of lays down there as she looks over to Mentara. I know it's a high order to ask if you can maintain this, but could you at least take a look at it? Ah, <sighs> she she takes it. She like she takes her gloves off so she can crack her knuckles before putting the gloves back on. Um, all right. Um, hmm. Tech here looks pretty advanced, but I don't think it's anything I can't handle. Sure, sure, why not? It's just, it's, you know... It's from Mechanist, by the way. If I would lift Lister off as much as I would know about it, because I assume I've been told about it a bit. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the inner workings of it, because probably never assumed I would not be in Mechanis. <laughs> <laughs> I can assist um, if needed, maybe. How... Can I ask... I'm wondering how everyone's reaction to it is. I'm just curious. In an, uh, in, in character like PC and the NPCs if you're okay with that I'm just curious Matara for me Matara her face like scratches a little bit and um kind of just goes <sighs> don't worry we'll fix you right up I'll say for mine you notice a glint of recollection Uh, anything from Lux or Zevi? I'm still following the cog wheels that are around, uh, hovering around your body, babes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you probably can see some weird parts of your back with your blind sight, but you can't probably tell exactly what's going on. I assume. Yeah, no, like it because uh, the way the way I figure it is like because it's intricate enough. And the only thing I'm really seeing are hallucinations. So I would have trouble like discerning um, the shapes. So I would just you would just watch my head sort of go around, but I wouldn't I wouldn't comment on much because I'm I'm in a weird state where I'm not sure what is real and what's delusion, you know? That's that's understandable, that's fine. Uh, nothing from Lux? Hmm? Nothing from Lux? Oh, uh, sorry. I, what was the exact question, Darius? I was uh, checking something. Uh, Lux's reaction to Leon's back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just look up. He, he, again, he'd be. Lami, what happened there? Uh, it's a long story, but, uh. The best thing I could say is a factory meltdown explosion kind of thing mixed together. It's pretty bad. That's... I, I, I'd agree it's pretty bad. Uh, how's Silas look? I don't think Silas has ever seen this before. Silas... Hmm. I feel like he would keep really, really quiet for like a brief moment and then go... Uh, ah, you've definitely told me about this before, but this is definitely the first time I've actually laid eyes on it. Does it like hurt? <laughs> hmm. I mean, it used to hurt, but then uh, the, the person who did this numbed all the nerves back here, so I don't really fear anything anymore. Uh, I can still feel a lot of other things, it's just 
I just don't have any sensation in my back anymore. That's all gone now. God. The... Lex pokes it. <laughs> you see absolutely no reaction. Like, she doesn't feel it. Blimey! That's neat. Matara gets out a set of Smith's tools and her the and her uh, Tinker's tools. Um, lays them out in front of her. All right, give me a moment while I um. Let's see here. I guess we're gonna start with um straightening out some of these bent pieces. Please don't roll a one. Please don't roll a one. Please don't roll a one. Is that your bard can inspiration? I, can I, can I, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'm inspiring her to so just break me. <laughs> um. Oh wait, Josh. Hmm. Does Atlas being here stop everything? Oh, actually, yeah. You're so sexy. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, you. Also, didn't you say you summoned your familiar? Ah, uh, just so that I can see through his eyes. You can see neon if you want to. That's up to you, though. Um. Uh, yeah, one second. I got, I got, I got, I got words for this. One, first things first, is if I even start to see hallucinations right now, I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm gonna turn to Atlas and say, uh, do you mind if I take your hand? No. Why did that sound like a question? <laughs> no, that's, just Nano's, that's just Nano's classic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, it's just tone. It's not a question. Okay, thank, thank you. And she'll take his hand. And then I will look through my familiar size and watch. Okay. Um, I have a cute little a little raven. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think too much about that. <laughs> Blimey! What bird was the appropriate word for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I I am not a bird. This this is the bird. It is magic. I have made it. Uh, I want to say that Neon shoots you finger guns. That's bird. I can see them. You are all so pretty. Oh, of course I am. <laughs> and see, I told you he was handsome. <laughs> I emotion vaguely <laughs> to Slylo. Uh, thank you. You're not too bad yourself. He says with like a with like a little like eyebrow wiggle. <laughs> Don't do that thing with the eyebrows, that's not cute. Uh, that's just creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's made me feel a little gross, to be honest. <laughs> ah, fuck all of you. <laughs> Stop being a creeper! Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry, that's usually what all the ladies say to him after a little bit of talking to him. Oh, and Lux, you're si so cute! Silas, Silas, looks, Silas looks down at Lux and just goes, You're like. Twelve. Your opinion's invalidated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lux, you're so cute. And she's gonna like lean forward and like pinch his cheek. And she's kind of like, <laughs> oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you'll grow into quite a handsome man. Oh, it it's so interesting to be able to see you all. Oh, wait, is it like? Everyone here, besides Tausch, yeah. Lux, really old. Besides <laughs> so Lux. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, how's Matar? Actually, I think Matar's pretty old too. Let me. See. How old is? Yeah, it's like everyone here in this room besides Lux is really old. <laughs> well, define really old. I don't think I'm not at, that old. At least like a hundred. I'm probably yeah. the oldest. They live into their second century, so that means Matara is also like a hundred too. Hey, everyone's a hundred plus. Like a hundred thirty, I would say Matara is. Mm -hmm. Atlas, you not... are you are surprisingly handsome. Oh, aged with grace. 
<laughs> He's just gonna lean in towards the nearest person, doesn't care who, and goes, Blimey! I said he was a gal seeker. <laughs> <laughs> Make one more check with this. Okay. By the way, I want to say Neon looked a lot nervous, but now that there's jokes being tossed around, she looks a bit more at ease, and she looks like she appreciates it a lot. Um, I do appreciate the compliment, though. You're welcome. I'm not... Neon, you feel, like, weird sensations against your back since it's all numb. Like, you feel mm -hmm. like things moving, but you don't actually feel anything, like... Anything beyond, like, the sensation of things moving, I guess. Um, you also see her, like, get a blowtorch and, like, a, uh, a little blowtorch helmet and, uh, begin welding certain parts of, um, the wings back into alignment. Uh, but with all of her checks out of the way, um... It's going to take her the better half of, like, a couple hours, but after that, the routine maintenance is done, uh, and your wings will be working as intended once again. Alright, I want to say, like, during some parts, Neon is like, That's a bit hot, that's a bit hot, that's going a bit too cl- Okay, that's better now. <laughs> and, like, she's, like, gripping on, like, the side of whatever she's holding on to, like, with, like, a bit of a death grip, like... Mm -hmm. Probably because the person that used to do this for her probably never made a single mistake in doing so this is this is a very new sensation having someone else work for it that they're not used to mm -hmm. that's freaking her out a little bit <laughs> um i will say something though to to neon because of where she is from uh the wings used to only basically suit like a function over anything else um just like if they if they worked adequately and to like the, their most um uh to their to their most optimized state that is where the wings would be taken to um however when matara does it the first thing you notice is that they feel lighter the second thing that you notice is that there's more range of move of of motion within the wings now um because over function uh matara likes to value form <laughs> Mm -hmm. And ease to the uh, to the to the user. I'm not gonna lie. The second I got onto any material plane, I was so happy that the gravity was so much better on the other side. This was so much better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm glad you enjoyed. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm supposed that uh, coming from a high a higher density gravity plane is uh. Well, I'm sure the contrast is quite stark, visiting our material plane. It is extremely different, but I guess you just get used to it since you've lived here for a while, but much appreciated. I, this was new, and uh, I thank you. I, I don't really know what I can give you, but I, I just want to say I appreciate it. Okay. Um... All righty. As the Starcaller is accompanied by two smaller celestial vessels um, acting as escorts, at least only up until the Mistora system. Um, as you all begin to drift upon the solar rail for the first time, um, making new comrades, learning more about the comrades you've already made, and um, and setting sail upon these vast skies. Uh, that is where I'm going to end tonight's session. I would like to add uh, one thing, though. Mm -hmm. for, for Lux's downtime, he will be winning money and items off everybody in the crew with his deck of cards. Nice. Okay. I'm not I, playing cards with a child. Cash does better than to play with a sneaky fucker. <laughs> I am not playing cards, but I would, I would pay to see Silas lose. I think Silas would get swindled once. Because uh, I'm a, I'm an I am an urchin child with 66 gold and a shit ton of expensive items, so I'm like I have to have a reason how he got all this. <laughs> yeah, I need to see I need to see Silas get his ass beat by, by, by a 12 year old. 
I would also I would also like to add that during downtime, while my character is trying to shake off their insanity, they will periodically uh, bug Atlas for a quiet moment. <laughs> is she going to request any more helping with the meditation from Lux? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. She's just gonna, like, you know, occasionally reach out asking for help. Yeah, there's plenty of time where Alice is open. Man, I gotta say, guys, thank you all so much for letting me, like, run a session in which I feel comfortable running for four to five hours again. It's been so long since I've been able to have a group that I can feel comfortable enough piloting.